Let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear my honest and true voice. Shit, that was a good stretch. What's going on, DCB, Monochrome, Pit Panther, the 84, Styrofoam P, Shangan, what's good, dudes? How are you? Total help, my stream is somehow downloading PoE. Steam is somehow downloading PoE and I can't stop it. Embarrassing. Hello, AEF, Just Long, Still Life, Nacho Man, Truby, I Ate Apples, Otterbug, Vesperian. Oktreya, Charizard, Blue Man, Kiyabusa, Benunu, Sir Zebras, the Joycraft. My little brother had my keyboard last stream. I don't even remember what happened last stream. Hello, Sir Alpha Gaming. For a second, I thought the Beetleborgs were an image of the new Halo. There's a new Halo? What's going on, Joe? Bandit. Mass Maker, Little Poppy. Tolomium underscore Sun. You got SMT5. I still haven't played that. Um, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get around to it. Hello, Dirty Dan. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe next month. I was I was stoked to play it, and then I'm just, you know, I have not uh, mustered up the courage to start. You played a Mori last stream, and you door-dashed Apple Beans. I don't even know what Apple Beans are. My little Robo, Venom Gauss, Lock, Genso Kaizo, Shiko, Noodle, thank you for the Tier 3 resub of 51 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How are you? I made the wonderful mistake of playing SMT5 on hard. That's the only way to do it. People will say that you you hate you hate disabled people if you play it on hard. But um, I think it's good. I don't think there's any point in playing those games if you're going to play them on easy mode. Me, uh, hello, Soda Fizz, Monochrome, Hakadura, Blue Hat, Dark. You matter. We ever stream Dark Souls again? Probably not. I'll maybe stream Elden Ring, but I've been done with Dark Souls since what? 2017 it's been a while hasn't it <laughs> it's, it's been a minute um being an adult and having anxiety about doing things you like is fun i got my yes man sticker today congratulations hello zara Bax. little miss pink thank you west gray fox with 27 month resub i appreciate it thank you very much hello nurgle uh, rosden thanks for the 27 months elden ring speed runs when <laughs> I've never done speedruns of anything in my life, so probably never. Uh, there would have to be a pretty considerable change in the chemistry of my brain to entertain that idea. Hello, Meth. Abyssal Spirit. Alpha Zon. Oh. Mm. Hey, Tolomia, why don't you stream Souls anymore? I think it's pretty fucking rude how you're acting right now. Most people only come for your challenge runs and you're losing followers tonight acting like a child. I know. I'm just out of control. I need. I really. I really need to drop the gun. Hello, Caracal. A thank you, Empty Perspective, for the 44 months. What is good, Tolo and Chad? I try getting a new work computer to get turned away because the dude was going home. So I got Panda Express since I looked like a clown. Man, I wish I liked Panda Express. Um, thank you, Smug Skyler, for the 27 month resub. I've been able to stay for the streams lately. Still, make sure to pop in resub for the Tolo. Well, thank you. You need to listen to the demands of your customers, Tolo. No. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm someone who, like, one of the worst things to do if you want to get any sort of result from me is demanding something of me. Um, it literally never works. What's going on, Melon Fox? Spider-Man? No, this is the normal stream time. Hello, Yasami. Twitch loves making fun of Karens until they become one because the streamer plays a game they don't like. Hello, Jaws Ball, uh, Suyoku. A thank you, Arcadia, for the four-month resub. I appreciate it. And thank you, Selison, for the 44 months. Thank you very much, guys. I own this game, too. I can't watch this shit. Can we have a seven-hour pre-stream? And said no. I'm actually... I beat this game. I've been playing this game, and I like it. But I need to... I need to play through the entire fucking thing again to fight a boss in an alternate ending. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through New Game Plus. But I've, I've played this before. Uh, what's going on, Matoko? Radiohead made a video game, because why not, I guess? Public is crying out for Kingdom Hearts speedruns. I never know how to take it when someone comes in and asks for Dark Souls. Um, on one hand, I'm flattered that they still remember I, I ever played Dark Souls. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's like, damn, dude, it's been since 2017. 
Um, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll get the, uh, maybe I'll get the bug a month or two before Elden Ring. Who knows? The guy came in and asked for Dark Souls with his first ever message in chat. I respect it. I can recommend some Metroidvanias I've come across if you're in that video game mood. No, I'm, I want to play SMT, but I told myself I wouldn't because I bought this to play because I was really fucking bored. But I've also been kind of like, you almost, I'm, I'm pretty much never busy, but this last week uh, until like yesterday, Autumn's mom was here. So I've been fucking dog. I've been doing so much driving. <laughs> like, I'm so sick of driving. Uh, hello, Kylor, but it was fun. You see that YouTube channel? It's just a guy beating a deer no hit every day until Elden Ring comes out. Dude, that's easy. It takes like fucking two minutes. That's easy peasy. He should at least pick a hard boss. Um, I would respect beating Deacons of the Deep New Game Plus 7 no hit every day way more. But, I don't know, dude. Hello, Stowe. What is SMT? It's basically Persona without the heart is what they like to call it. It's a it's a Japanese turn-based RPG that's fucking exorbitantly expensive. Um, what's going on, Valk? I just finished Gambit. Me too. I'm going through on, on New Game Plus because I have no idea what to stream. Um, so, fuck it, right? Hello, Just a Gamer John. The darker, unfriendly, or an ugly Persona's brother. See, I like SMT more than Persona. Persona's cool, don't get me wrong. But, but, there's only so many times I could roleplay as a high school student as someone who's almost 30 years old, you know? It loses its appeal after a while. Maybe that's because I don't have any sort of real nostalgia for the high school days since I was homeschooled. So it doesn't tickle my, my, my school nostalgia bone that I guess most people probably have. Uh, hello, Zero TB, Skiwi. I finally got antibiotics for my infected tooth. After five days of intense pain, I hope you feel better. High school animu shit is so overdone. I like SMT way better because of the school thing, me too. So that means you're just reliving your high school days every day? No, I don't have my, uh... I don't have my teacher around anymore. My teacher was my mom, so not really. Things are a lot different now than they were in high school. I, I wish that were the case. Hello, Zagabus. The protagonist can no longer punch in Persona games. I don't need a game to remind me of how suicidal I was in high school. I wonder what I would have been like if I wasn't homeschooled and I actually went to high school. wonder if I would have been considerably, uh, considerably different. Edgy. Yeah, that's me. Hello, Dr. Mothman. Probably the same. I don't know, because I, I don't really I don't really feel like it would have been much of the same at all. Might have killed someone, maybe. Maybe I would have been a serial killer. Um Do you think there are any serial killer streams? Like What you could like pre-record a stream? Because let's be honest, like whenever I stream, most of you are here consistently. So I could pre-record a stream and be like, hello, Vanim Gauss, hello, Benuno, or, or, you know, whatever, right? And while the stream is running, I have an alibi. I can go and kill as many people as I want, as long as I'm, uh, I don't, no one sees me, right? <laughs> what, what's going on, Dwen Light, for the 51-month resub? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This could be a pre-recording right now. I could be out in the woods chopping people up, and you'd have no idea. Hello, Dream Ouija. Please make sure you kill me while you're at it. FBI agent is still watching and is coming to your house now. I mean, I'm not going to leave my fucking room, but I just, it's, you know, I wonder when it's going to happen. Hello, Sock in a Jar. It's a victimless crime. Live your best life, bestie. Feeding the local armadillo population. I'm still so fucking pissed that they killed my goddamn armadillo. Blink twice if this is a recorded. Hello, Sophonia. Ah, oh, we're an accessory to crime. Yeah, you need the energy to plan and go through all that, preferably with some G Fuel. I've never had G Fuel or any of that weird schlock that streamers peddle all of the time. Dude, live stream self icing a dude. No, I, I know that people live stream the actual killings. I've only watched one Facebook stream, and it was some asshole 
who just went up to like an old guy and, and just fucking domed him. Um, and the same guy, apparently, he got caught because he went to go get a McFish at the McDonald's. And they recognized him, and they said, oh shit, the McFish machine is broke. Can you wait on, like, can you wait roughly 40 minutes um, for the, I mean, the McFish uh, to be ready? And they came and fucking snagged him out of the McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> like, <laughs> out of all the ways to get caught. Um, what a fucking nightmare. I have G Fuel gel gummy come out of urethra. Nice. It's not too far from me. Did you see when one of them tried to shoot a church in Texas and just got shot by literally everyone? No. I, I try not to watch stuff like that. It just, you know. Uh, hello, Sozoy. What's up? Thank you for the 51 months. How's SMT? I still haven't played it. I think I'm going to start it tomorrow. Um, everyone says it's good, so I'm excited. What's going on, Vlock186? It's filet of fish No, it's the McFish. It's always been the McFish. It's the best game in years. Awesome. So Zoe and I sub anniversary on the same day. So cute. You should be lovers. Hello, Microtonal Matt. I haven't played games all week. Can you play Genshin Impact? Absolutely not. It reminds me of Nocturne. That's surprising. You really should pick hard. I always do. I never, I never pick easy mode on... Or normal mode or whatever, unless it's a game that I know I'm just not going to enjoy playing on hard, which is most games I enjoy the hardest difficulty. I might not pick the hardest difficulty on, like, a shooter. Um, because I can't aim for anything. Uh, hello, Kinesia. I didn't have six breasts. He will never love me. Have you ever ordered the McGang Bang from McDonald's? I don't even really know what that is. I've heard people refer to it from time to time, but I if you had a gun to my head and told me to describe what a McGang Bang is, I have no idea. No fucking clue. Not the faintest idea in my heart. I have vowed to never eat McDonald's again. It looks gross. Thought you didn't think too highly of Death's Gambit when it came out? I've never played it until this last week. Um... You might be thinking of Cry or someone. I remember Cry didn't like it. Uh, the one I hate is Salt and Sanctuary, but I, I didn't play this game until last week. It got a pretty big update that supposedly revamped all of the bad parts of the game. I have no idea what the bad parts of the game were to begin with because I didn't play it, but I think it's pretty good. I like it a lot, actually. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty fucking awesome. I know it... Bisexual McArby's Restroom Gangbang is. I don't know what this game is. TLDR Souls-like Metroidvania. It has really fucking good music and some pretty good visuals and the game is fun. Um, I played through it this last week and I have to play through it again to do a boss on an alternate route. So I figured, fuck it, I don't have anything to stream. I might as well, right? <laughs> so... Is it grime level of good? Mm, I think the combat is probably a little bit better. Uh, the visuals are nowhere near as good as grime, but it's 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 its own thing. Cry's opinions on X should probably be taken with a pinch of salt. Isn't it a McGing bang when you and four other homies go to town on a McChicken and serve it up as a McChicken with extra mayo? I think so. Yes, Mad Kate King. What's up, dude? It was bad, dropped it at the first boss, had one second an anchor for animations. Nah, this shit... No. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll play it and you can make your own decisions, but I like it. I think it's really good. Um, I have no frame of reference, so I'm not biased to the old version of the game. I do remember watching Cry play it and he didn't like it. Uh, what's going on, man, Candy? I haven't had hamburger in three years. Me neither, I only eat cheeseburgers. Favorite boss? That's a good fucking question. Um, I'm not sure. We talked on stream about how the GTA Remastered Trilogy is a shitty mobile port. No, I haven't streamed in like three years. Hello, Anchormancer. Did I miss the first stream? First stream of what? Um, I haven't streamed since Sunday. I've been... Uh, I've been furiously jacking off into my container of raisins. I'm trying to make a new brand of yogurt raisins, and it's been taking up all of my time. Hello, NL Spectre. Like, you, I think they're pretty good. And if you want some, you could come over to my house, and I can give you some. Death's Gambit? No, I haven't streamed it before. 
What's going on, Mario Martinez? Come over? Yeah, sure. Why not? I like the mindfuck boss last time I played. I really like the visuals for that one, too, but the boss itself isn't very uh, engaging. The mobile port is higher quality than the trilogy. I actually... The, the important thing for me to come out of the Grand Theft Auto shit is people had been comparing it to the Silent Hill remasters, which I've never played Silent Hill, but I saw a comparison photo on Twitter where apparently there was a remake of Silent Hill where they had the Welcome to Silent Hill sign or whatever the fuck written out in Comic Sans, and I think that was really good. I liked it a lot. Hello, punk kid. Thank you, Mian, for the 13-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Kami Cat, for the 61 months. Thank you very much, guys. How are, how are you and the cats? Oh, maybe one of these days I should play Silent Hill and see if it's as, uh, the, the emotional maelstrom that uh, some people make it out to be. The HD collection. Why did my sub renew? I didn't get charged for it. Fuck if I know. Silent Hill HD ports were bad, which should name my Roughneck. It has an MRM-40, three medium lasers, LB-10, T-Dog neck. You should name it uh, Bruce. I think Bruce is a great name for a mech like that. We're doing all right. Weekend soon. Life is good. That's good. I'm glad. Silent Hill is great, but definitely don't play that collection. I bought the Silent Hill remaster on the 360. As far as I'm concerned, I'm free to load up the original ISOs whenever I want to. That's fair. I watched an old lady talk about games for over an hour. Why? I'm the only old lady you're supposed to watch. Bruce, I know, B. I know, it's not the best name, but... Named my Hellfire KGC000B because it's my favorite variant of King Crab. Nice. I, um, I think I mecked out for the time being. I played so much fucking Mech Warrior in the last two months... I feel a little bit bad. I feel like I'm I'm contractually obliged to keep to be like the last one playing, right? Um, I feel bad that I got so many people into it, and then I'm just like, okay, I'm I'm gonna stop playing, and now now I feel like I individually went and slapped every one of them in the face. But you know, it is what it is. Mm. Is that the YouTube old lady really likes JRPGs? Two survival horror games pretty well, so you'd probably enjoy Silent Hill. I mean, a huge influx of games and need to ruin economies in its infancies. I forgot about Battletech. I played one game last night, my two kills, six assists, and nine two two damage. Cool. And lived. It would have been better if you died. Hello, RTMN. Oh, oh. It was a lot of fun playing Mech Warrior with the stream, though. It was the uh that was Fuck. I can't remember the last time I played a PvP game that frequently. Um, not in the entire time that I've been streaming, that's for sure. It's It was like, God, I think since 2014 I haven't been into a multiplayer game like that to that extent. What's going on, Saint Deceiving? Ildaka, Valkuma. I played the new Halo last night. Remember why I don't play Halo anymore? I'm just learning about the new Halo. Um, I've been kind of under a rock these past few days. Thank you, Sky Blight, for the 61 months. What's up? I started Sekiro and got to the Sculptor and haven't touched it again. So that's pretty cool. You're trying to get yourself excited for Elden Ring. PvP games are for losers, dog. <clears throat> Maybe if you're bad and you lose all of the time, but me? <laughs> I always win. I'm so fucking good at that game that even every time I lose in Mech Warrior, my individual skill goes up because I'm always better than my team. <laughs> so, um, I really like that game because I'm literally never a loser. It's it's literally a rocket straight to top tier whenever I play. Oh, Tolo Humble? Hey, I mean, it is what it is, right? Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend, I'm, you know, I'm okay at Mech Warrior. I do. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm good every once in a while. Nah, dude, I beat ass at that game. Uh, and now, since a lot of you played it with me, it's not even me being good. I Now you know what I'm talking about. I've, I've regaled you with stories about that game for years, telling you that the player base of that game is not very good for the most part. Um, they don't know what they're doing. It's literally elder abuse. 
It's like 60-year-old people screaming over the mic about, you know, getting mad that someone said, hey, ladies, in team chat. It's not exactly uh, the most competitive environment in the entire world. Uh, thank you, Paul Omega, for the eight-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Siamese Sneeze. Um, may I have a birthday song? Okay. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Yo Daka. There you go. No more birthday songs for the rest of the year. That was the last one. We got Bogies and Charlie Delta 2 fellow mech warriors, right? It's like, <laughs> there's a Foxtrot over and Charlie over. It's like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? I think there's some guy who's having an aneurysm on the voice chat. My favorite mech warrior online creature is Dat Metal because he ERPs like a robot and has a fucked voice changer. And it's... Is that the dude who talks about cock and ball torture? Um... Because I like that guy. He's a, he's a good one. But most of the time, I have the voice chat off in that game because the people who play it are, are a little too verbose for my liking. Um, really do talk like they're in the fucking... Ma I know, they're role-playing, dude. They're, they're in it. Made apple pie for my co-workers last week and brioche donuts for them today. I got a lot of rave from both. Hit new indie game, Brigand. I have it. I just haven't been able to get into it. Uh, thank you, Quantum Flash, for the three-year resub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. A little potion yeller. I feel like my stream would also fucking hate Brigand. I, I looked at it. I got it like a fucking year ago. Um, it's been out a long time. It's not new. But it's just like... I don't know. It just seems like one of those games that's insanely... Um, how do I want to put it? obtuse hard to penetrate you it, 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 i feel like if i were to play it on stream for the first time it would go all, really similarly to how kenshi went where i just didn't know what the fuck was happening the entire time and that's fun for me i like being clueless um when it comes to video games but that's not necessarily always the best thing to run a stream on right chat like stalker though did they um, I don't know about that. Pick up my sister from work now. Ken, she was cool. Bus and bus and hope it's good for you too. I got out of Morrowind mod online. Wish I could have watched you play Kenshi. There wasn't much to watch. I wandered around the fucking desert for two hours and mined some copper. <laughs> like that really was not a lot going on. Um, you know, I, I. I got the shit beat out of me several times, um, but can she? It's psychological test created by God to find out if we are ready to meet God. I don't think I am. I don't think Jesus would want to have a have have daiquiris with me. Can she's kind of shit until late game, unfortunately. I thank you, Yaminsky, for the twenty one month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Rumbles, some more eater. Gotten the dog yet? And can she? No, I haven't played it since. Um, one of these days, one of these days, an amazing cultivation simulator was kind of unexpectedly good. Amazing cultivation simulator. What do, what do you, what do you mean? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Amazing cultivation simulator. Are you talking about Roblox? Is this like is this like a sex offender dog whistle? Oh no, it's literally called Okay, I wasn't sure if you were referring to something I've played. Um I'm I was just running through my fucking mind thinking of Oh, this looks weird. Interesting. It looks a lot like Rimworld. Thank you, Gameology Couch, for two month resub. <laughs> I I I non ironically really like that song. What does that say about me? Hello, Space Cat. I'm not going to sing it, but I really like that song. Ah, oh, it's Dragon Ball Z Rim World. Cool. It sounds fun. 
focuses on Chinese mythology. I don't know shit about Chinese mythology. The only thing I know about Chinese mythology is one. once upon a time, I played a game called Titan Quest, which was a ARPG in the vein of Diablo. And it goes from, like, you start out in, in Greece, and you're fighting, like, Medusas and shit, and, like, satyrs. And then, before you know it, you're going through the gardens of Babylon, and then you're in China fighting tiger people. That game is fucking trippy. Um, really, really like it. If you've never played Titan Quest and you like ARPGs, you should give it a shot. Although, I, I've heard the latest two expansions that they added, like, a decade after the game came out aren't the best in the world. Um... I didn't know what China was until I played Genshin Impact. Yeah, that's fair. I broke one of my favorite plates. How did you do that? Steven, my taskbar is permanently green and it's triggering me. I also quit one of my part-time jobs. Yeah, good shit. Everybody's quitting now. I saw a fucking one of the worst things I've ever seen on Twitter today, which is uh, a Burger King sign that, that said, like, now hiring smiling faces or something to that effect. And, uh, wow. <laughs> that just really says it all, right? Like, who the fuck smiles at work? Like, you're, you're gonna go roll up to the Burger King getting, like, $12 an hour? And you're like, yeah, dude, I'm fucking, I'm so thrilled to be here. <laughs> like, no, dude. You want him to smile, you better pay him $16 an hour minimum. Like, they're not, I don't know, dude. You're smiling right now? No, I'm not. What's going on, Digi Sky? Uh, there's a fucking referral program now on every place I work at. Dude, literally everywhere is hiring right now where I live. It's insane. I don't think that's unusual. Um, everything's getting more expensive. I know, dude. Fritos, four and a half dollars a bag. Um, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It's insanity. Uh, thank you for the resub, Apollyon. 66 months. How are you, dude? Saw some Moya in my recommended channels, and I had to click. That's fair. It's probably not what you expected, huh? Um, but that's some Moya. It's my dog, Sif. Sif Ronnie, come here. Hey, come here. You want to say hello? Someone's here for you. Come on. You want to say hi? Good girl. Come here. Who's your good little doggy who likes the marshmallows? Is it you? Once upon a time, I used to post uh, pictures of the dog on Twitter. I I haven't in a while, though. Thank you, B, for the 43 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I just applied for a job. It's a block away from my apartment. Minimum starting pay is 50 cents higher than what I was earning at the place I worked at for two and a half years. Yeah. You must smile while a customer berates you. Dude, I am not a smiler. I don't like to smile or laugh. Hello, Artemis. I don't like doing either of those things. And it's not because I'm trying to be like edgy, 14 years old, blah, 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 blah. When I was growing up, I had British teeth. My teeth were so fucked, it looked like someone threw a brick at me and then called me a water-headed idiot and ran off. Um, so I, I've been conditioned to never smile. Um, it's still a holdover from those days. My teeth aren't British anymore, but... <laughs> when you got when people when you smile at people and they like make a like a grimace <laughs> it's like it, it 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 conditions you real quick not to fucking smile got a job coming up while i'm doing class so i can resub and all that oh you don't have to worry about that three people quit at my work because we have government contracts we have to get vaccinated jesus christ i was actually i was I did something fucking terrible today, and I decided I was bored, and I read the conspiracy Reddit. And holy shit, dude. Uh, thank you, West Gray Fox, for putting Potion Yeller in the cuck shed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not into, I don't believe in conspiracies or any of that shit, but I was just curious what the fuck was going on on the other side of the fence, right? <laughs> like, it was, it was something. They really, they really think Bill Gates is like the the super villain who's hell bent on destroying the world. Um, the whole British teeth thing prompted a study. Americans found out they have worse teeth than the Brits. That's not surprising because it's a, so fucking expensive. It's like what five thousand, six thousand dollars to get braces. 
Who the fuck has money for that shit? I wouldn't even be remotely surprised. But it's a stupid internet meme. It doesn't really... Like, when people talk about the British tea thing, I, I think most people understand that it's not... It's not really rooted in reality. What's going on, Rotaka? How are you, dude? I, I saw that you did music for this game, too. My braces treatment was like 12k? Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Uh, I had braces for like three, four years. Um, you were a scholar, sir? Well, I love the soundtrack, so I was looking at it. And I, I saw that you were in the credits for The Dark Knight. And uh, some of the other ones... You know, we're not even supposed to have a mandate right now, apparently, since the Supreme Court fucked over that shit, but the president is still making people do it. Braces are just mouth torture that you pay for. And I had to get extra fucked up shit, too. I didn't just get the braces. Um, I'm so glad I was blessed with straight teeth. Yeah, you know, I, I was born with distinctly homosexual teeth. And, you know. What's going on, Yahoo Kemba? I still haven't played this update, so I never played the original game. I played this off stream uh, in the last week or so, and I really liked it. It was my first experience with it. I would say the only thing that really pissed me off was some of the stuff pertaining to the super secret boss. Um, I didn't have the most of fun in the world trying to get to that point. Mm. I was born with bisexual teeth. I had a dentist in the family, so I was pretty blessed. That's awesome. Microsoft Office is a subscription service now, too. Nice. You got braces, and now they're metrosexual. I, I'm i still pissed that there's a Windows 11, and they're going to want me to update to that shit. You think Windows updates are bad now? Wait 10 to 15 years. They keep getting worse. Did you like the Phoenix chick who screamed a lot? No, that was actually one of my least favorite bosses to fight in the heroic version. Because I was an asshole, and in this game... When you beat a boss, like, most of the bosses are pretty easy. I wouldn't say there's there's many bosses that are hard to beat until you beat them and you see that you can interact with their corpse to fight a quote-unquote heroic version of the boss. Then the ass pain starts real fucking quick. <laughs> the, the, the hurt train comes very, very rapidly once you start doing those, especially if you are underleveled for them, which I was for many of them. Uh, that's what I like about it, though. Thank you, Coffee Dude, for the 15-month resub and many more to come. You don't know that. I could have a heart attack and die right now, and then would you still be subbed for many months if I were dead? Hmm? I love the Windows update that hijacked my screen and forced me to reinstall Microsoft Edge. So, I actually, like, I, every time I restart my computer, Microsoft Edge is repinned. Is there a way to get rid of that bullshit? It's one of my least favorite things in the fucking world. My old computer didn't have this problem, but my new one does. It's really irritating. Um, I can unpin it and everything and just get it get it off, and it, it always manages to come back on restart. Get rid of what? So every time I restart my computer, it repins Microsoft Edge to my toolbar. Um, Uninstall Windows specific programs. No, you have to do some extra shit to get rid of Edge. I think it wouldn't let me just uninstall it. It's called a virus. Maybe, 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 maybe people are stealing my credit card information. What specs you've got? Oh, I forgot. I got like a thirty eighty. I bought a pre built in June. Um, it's got it. It's really good, but I don't remember. I used to be really, really into like the PC spec shit. I would have been able to tell you. I still remember my first PC. I had 1100T, uh, Thuban AMD processor. I used to be super, super into like reading about processors and shit and knowing all the different parts. Um, now, I don't really care. Uh, what's going on, Crave was taken. Pre-built have Windows pre-installed? Uh, yeah, it did. Maybe that's the problem. Kind of get it puts his, space, his specs in his form signature. No, 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 no. By the time I was building PCs... I was like 14, 15, so I was above. Like that, forum signatures are for like little kids. Um, let's be real. 14, 15 old teenagers, young adults, they don't they don't do forum signatures. No one fucking cares about that once you once you have some some hair on your upper lip. Spent three hours a while ago trying to get a permanent fish in Fate One. I was unsuccessful. 
Anytime I get a new computer, I do a fresh install of Windows and get rid of all the bloat shit. I probably should have done that, but... You know? How am I supposed to express my individuality? I don't know. I imagine you were building your own P. I was, but you can't get fucking... Do you know how hard it is to get a new graphics card? Maybe it's easier now. But I'm not about to sit there and scour like, oh, Best Buy gets five new cards at 4 a.m. And you've got to be there and outcompete 700 robots, add it to your cart, and buy it. And fuck that. <laughs> like, I needed it for stream. You know, that's my excuse. I need the 3080 to play uh, the Fear and Hunger 2. You know? I need it. I, I made a bet because I thought, I, I when I bought the PC, I was like, you know... I feel like this shit is only going to get worse. It's probably not going to get better, so I may as well buy a pre-built PC. Because even older cards are skyrocketing in price, right? So if I wait too long and my PC that I'm using now breaks, I'm just fucked. Um, there's not going to be a thing in the world I can fucking do. So I just said, fuck it. Um, I'll just do it, you know? Ram prices are going up, too. Everything's going up, dog. I'll cry if my GPU dies. Yeah, that's about the worst thing that could possibly happen PC-wise these days. Um, I'll bet advanced system care experience. It should help since it's a fuck ton of shit, especially an uninstall that can delete registry files. So you, I might have to do it. I might have to. Hey, Tolo, I graduated Air Force BNT last Thursday. I would not recommend joining. It's like prison, but worse. But hey, now I can go to college for free. Hello, you low me OR. Don't worry. I don't think they'd let me into the Air Force. Um, I don't think I would be able to join the military at all, actually, because uh, I have multiple skeletal deformities. So they'd probably tell me I wasn't fit for, for whatever, unless it was something that required no physicality whatsoever. What's going on, Hairline Final Frontier? Um, like the chest hole would be uh, a deal breaker for the Air Force in particular, I think. Can't get drafted? Oh, well, if they need to draft people, that's not going to fix anything, but use your bug hitbox to tackle landmines. Besides the chest, well, yeah, I have a fucked up spine, too, and a fucked up face. Um, fucked up everything. I can also, I can also pop my big toe infinite times. Hello, Crybaka. It's really weird. Only one in my family that could get drafted. But only one big toe. My skeleton's a, a, a fucked up monstrosity. They should put it in a science class. It'll be the most fucked up looking skeleton you've ever seen. May you show this toe pop on stream? Are you asking me to pop my toes on stream? That's not going to happen. If we ever get to the point where we need to draft again. I think that I'm too old now. Um... Like I'm, I'm nearing thirty, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be l low on the list of people to be drafted. Hello, basically Norway. My big toe is like that, along with my thumbs. Nice. And do that with my pinky. Cool. I can't pop my pinky at all. Cutoff is like thirty-five. They will scrap the barrel for you. Why, dude? I'm fucking worthless. I get winded going up the stairs. You still join the army until you're like 35, but drafting specifically, right? I thought you had to be like, I think, I think it's what, 26 years old is the max age to be drafted or something like that, unless they change the rules. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering. I think 26 is the max age for the draft. It's never going to happen regardless. Dog, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to be the first one to say, dear FBI agents, dear everyone in my stream chat, consider me a draft dodger. I ain't fucking going. Like, I'd rather go and die in the woods. <laughs> like, I really fucking would. Thank you, young Giovanna. Like, mm -mm. not not doing that. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not going overseas to shoot brown people for their oil or whatever the fuck we get ourselves into. That's just not going to happen. Um, I'm just. I'm gonna go and jack off in the woods. I'll be one of those wild little homeless people. Only brown bears in the woods. It sounds like your spine disqualifies you anyways. You'd be like Arcadum who ended up dishonorably discharged. Was, was he? I thought that was Onesian. Respect the soldiers, but fuck the military. I agree. 
I agree. I'm not I'm not particularly gung ho on the military, but the people who work for the military are fine. Um I guess working for the military isn't really the best way of describing it. Enlisted. What's going on, Masi? Super boring and wet and cold. There are actually quite a few military people in here. We've got a wide variety of, of people in the Tolomeo stream. Um, it's interesting. It's even more interesting. Sometimes you'll go to another stream where the streamer knows me and like most of the viewers know me. And um, There aren't a lot of those, but I've been to a few. And their perception on what this stream is like is kind of funny sometimes. If we draft the current generation, we'd have an entire platoon Fortnite dancing over the Viet Cong's corpses. Arcadum used to bring it up. He gets offended about it. He left while on duty. Oh. <laughs> uh, everyone's fat, though. I'm, I'm trying to lose weight, dude. I'm on a weight loss journey. What kind of shit gets you dishonorably discharged? Pissing in the sink? Probably throwing puppies off of bridges or something, right? Some weird military guy from years ago was saying some shit too. Yeah, yeah, he was Giabo. He uh, he he ended up getting really mad at me and saying that I didn't know suffering until I was in the military and killed people. But he was like an engineer or a medic or something. He didn't even shoot people. He's just like, I don't know. It was weird. And then it devolved. Like he'd come into my stream every night and argue with me. And then he ended up saying how much he wanted to like fuck me in the ass against my will. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was a weird couple of weeks. Uh, thank you, Leighton, for the two-year resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very repressed young man. Old man. Um, and apparently, he had a wife and kids. So imagine if you were you were a wife to someone in the military, and they spent their nights talking about how much they wanted to fuck random, random like, Dark Souls streamers in the ass. Not now, Johnny. Not now. Johnny, get the fuck out! I gotta type this message. Like, Christ almighty, what a nightmare. I hope he was memeing. Um, because if he wasn't, it was pretty fucking pathetic. And that's coming from me. Do you not eat Whataburger anymore? Nope. Not really. Like, once every two weeks, maybe. And if I do go, I don't get the burgers. My husband's Navy being a Navy wife fucking sucks. Make equipment that the military buys. Does that mean I have killed someone? Well, I don't think so. What's going on, walking, talking, robot? Went to have children so I can make them embarrassed on the internet. I mean, I accidentally found my father's Instagram account where he followed dozens of wedgie porn accounts. Awesome. His burger gland is critically damaged. Oh, man. I got vanilla bean Greek yogurt. I was gone in basic training. You stop eating Whataburger? I still love Whataburger, but I'm trying to lose weight. I went to the doctor and they told me I was going to fat camp if I didn't lose weight. And I'm like, all right. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll I'll start eating fucking Greek yogurt and carrots. So, you know, amount of your tax dollars that we waste in the military and shit that is blatantly overpriced or stupid is actually criminal. Yeah, yeah, it's like I was saying in the previous stream. It's I'm personally in the camp that I don't understand the people who complain about things like. Um, Tax dollars being used to help those less fortunate than themselves when so much is wasted on, like, bullshit bureaucracy in the military. Um, things like that. Like, I feel like, I, as far as I'm concerned with the taxes I pay, I feel like helping people, um, welfare, whatever you want to call it, is one of the better things that the government does with it, quite frankly. Have you liked any food from your new diet? Um, um yo the yogurt's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Not really though. Like I wouldn't eat any of this shit if it wasn't for its purported health benefits. There's never going to be a point in my life where I'm like, man, I could really go for some Greek yogurt right now. Um, <laughs> it's it's not going to happen. Um, yogurt is pog. I don't really like yogurt much, but it's good for you. And it's reasonably filling, too. Um, have you had coconut yogurt? No, I haven't. Hello, Gray Sketch. Being able to solve world hunger with only $6.5 but the current infrastructure bill is like what? 
So they waste money all of the time in the government, regardless of what it is. But it's so I think saying that the government is wasteful when it comes to using welfare money to help people is a valid thing to say. But they're wasteful with literally everything. So if you're going to have it doesn't really change anything I said, in my opinion. What's going on, doofus? Uh, Coladio, what do you eat it with? I just eat it by itself. Oh, oh, man. Like, I eat raw carrots and yogurt for breakfast and sometimes bananas and apples. I don't mix any of it, though. Um, I was eating almonds, too, but almonds are kind of high in calories, so... Might need to stop eating al almonds. It sounds miserable. It's kind of fucking miserable. And expensive and expensive. That's also another good point. The wasted to make it seem like it's not being wasted simply by being spent. I hear almonds are notoriously hard to cook. They are. It's next to impossible. What about fish? I ain't cooking shit. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm lazy. I'm such a lazy piece of shit. I'm not doing anything. I could barely will myself out of the bed. Um, I can buy a memory foam pillow on Cyber Monday. I have one of those. They're really good. Um, until until you're drunk and you sleep on the wrong side of it and you wake up and your neck is completely fucked. Um, microwave fish sticks. I never use anything uh, or I never eat anything from the microwave. I am a firm believer in the microwave being bad it makes the food taste bad it's just not good um that's good but don't eat more than a handful yeah you've got to take like like two nuts my my uh tolomeo dinner special two burnt almonds 10 pieces of raw rice and a carrot good stuff but i'm the kind of fish you can be super friendly to people who can't cook when I went on a diet, nothing but plain chicken breast salads, and if I'm trying to drop, stop hunger pain, some peanuts, and dropped a lot of weight real quick. 300 pounds between the ages of 12 to 17, dropped all the way down to 170. That is a lot of fucking weight loss. Good God. Um, yeah, I was like, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get to like 170, 180, somewhere on there. I read cauliflower chicken. No. I can never sleep on memory foam. I have no consistent side. I sleep on it. Sometimes I even sleep with my head at the foot of the bed. I do. I sleep in the same position every time. Like, my my left cheek will be on the pillow. My right arm will be holding, or my left arm will be holding my cock. My right arm will be underneath my head. My right leg will be doing like a Captain Phil Falcon kick. And my left leg will be completely extended. And that's how I sleep every night. Um, the exact same way every single fucking time. With very little variation. I literally eat a crummy gas station packet of trail mix a day. Fuck. Sounds uncomfortable. No, it's not, dude. It's amazing. It's awesome. It's very, very comfortable. I have, like... I can't really, um... I can't sleep on my right che cheek. My neck doesn't really bend that way. Um, I have a much higher range of motion looking, uh, looking to the right than looking to the left. So if I try to sleep... Looking to the left, it really, really hurts my head and my neck. Um, unless I, I move my entire body to accommodate it. Wake up with my pants off. Nice. Have you ever, have you let anyone sleep on your chest hole? No. I can't... I, I'm not really a snuggler. Um, like, I like snuggling, but not while I'm trying to sleep. I can't, uh, I can't sleep with anything on me, like no animals, no, no, no people, nothing. I can't have anything on me. I, I'm, I have like a very specific way that I sleep, and I do not like it being altered in any way. Thank you, Incromancer, for the fifty-three month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I don't know Sky Beast. I shift around a ton, and most of the time, I end with my head on my arm rather than my pillow. What's going on, two forty p? Completely naked? Usually, yes. Cats jumping on you at night is a scary shit. So Daisy tries to sleep on me. This 100-pound Great Dane uses my legs as a pillow. And I always try. Um, I always try, but I, I just can't fucking do it. Hello, Chibi. Domino, has anyone ever gotten you with a D's nuts or Ligma prank? Yeah, 
There was a thing last night, or not last day, last stream, where Game Boy said, have you heard about iLadies? It's e-girls trying to brand themselves. And then I don't think I ever asked him what iLadies were. I just said, oh, that sounds fucking stupid, blah, 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 and talked about it. And then he did, like, the most botched circumcision execution I've ever seen, where he just, like, I, I guess he just decided to go for it anyways. He said, iLadies nuts on your face. I'm like, I don't, I didn't even fucking ask. What are you talking about? Like, you fucked it up. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, Game Boy? It doesn't, and, and then Chad acted like I just, I, I was like the victim of a fucking, you know, a downtown stabbing attack. It's like, no, no, that's no, but I was fucking too tired to really argue it at the time. Um, but whatever, but I have legitimately fallen for him once or twice. I don't think they're particularly charming unless it's the game The Legend of Candace. I thought I Lady was a real thing. I started tucking my sheets under the foot of my mattress because I completely tear my bed apart almost every night. I do that too. I do that too. I do the face down right arm under the pillow with your left leg sticking out from under the blanket and wake up curled in a ball with my blankets and pillows on the floor. Christ. You sound like my mom. When we used to sleep in hotels, she was a fucking literal blender that would, like, knock all the pillows, all the blankets, everything, push you off the fucking bed. She was like a human Beyblade and would, like, anything that wasn't knocked off of the bed would be completely tightly, uh, like, wrapped around her. It was impossible. I would just, I started sleeping on the fucking floor when we went on vacation because it was, it was impossible. No side here. Sister and I are both horrible people to share beds with. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Finally got a big bag of Black Bag Hot Cheetos only for three fifty. They've been sold out everywhere for weeks. Um, my nephew would talk and move in his sleep and it freaked me out. Where do you live? Where earthquakes are that common? I've never experienced an earthquake in my life. My blankets get torn off the bed the same night I make them, so I just never make my bed. You want to know how fucked in the head I am? When I was when I was a, uh, sleeping in my own bed and no one was sleeping on the bed with me, oftentimes I'd like fuck the sheets up and they'd come off and I'd just throw them off and sleep on the bare ass mattress. Um, <laughs> I, I you know fuck it. I'm tired of fixing these. Do you let Sif or Daisy sleep in the bed with you? Um, sometimes Sif, as long as she doesn't touch me. Because Daisy's too big. I can't sleep in the bed with Daisy without her being on part of me. But Sif? Sif sometimes can be at the foot of the bed and not bother me. So every once in a while she sleeps in the bed with me. But she doesn't really like sleeping on the bed more often than not. Pin those shits in the corner, dog. I told you, I'm I'm a lazy son of a bitch. Why can't Sif touch? It's cause I was just saying I can't sleep with anything touching me. Um, and Sif can't either. Like Sif is gets overheated very easily because she's this gigantic ball of fluff, right? So she likes to spoon, and she likes having her paw held while you're you're spooning with her for five minutes. And then she decides it's too hot and she leaves. Um, which I, I understand. I'm the same way. What's going on, Yo-Yo? How are you, dude? How's that cock? Sounds like you. It's literally exactly how I am. They, they do say the dogs take after their owners. Poor pooch. I cannot be touched when sleeping. I sleep suspended by a wind tunnel. My fluff ball of a dog is similar. Since I was little, I'd always have at least two dogs laying in bed with me, and even four years since I moved out. I used to have a cat who would sleep on my head and my pillow. His name was Simba. Um, eventually, I had to like not let him sleep in the room with me because he'd just start going, meow, 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 for attention in the middle of the night, and it was really fucking me up. And I feel bad about it to this day, but he got really needy at night, and it was really fucking annoying. He would not leave me alone to sleep. And then if I ignored him, he'd sleep on my head. Which was fucked up. 
My older pup, Yuna, usually sleeps at the end of the bed with my husband and I, except she always has to sleep between my legs. Super cramped, but I love her, so I deal with it. Daisy tries to fit in between the legs sometimes, but, uh... Dog's kind of fucking huge. Could be better, but most things are okay. School stress and money stress, mostly. I got you. I got you. I, uh, I hope your studying is gone well, at least. Are you done with that? Every time I let my cat sleep in my room, he would either try to hump my head or sleep next to my head. One of my cats sleeps on my pillow and curls himself around my head, and my other cat sits in the dip of my hip back when I sleep on my stomach. I can't. I don't understand how people can sleep with animals on top of them. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I wish I could, but it just doesn't work for me. I, I cannot for the life of me. Yo-Yo stuck on Bredon Helk. It's true. I have a Chihuahua who is somehow a massive bed hog. I don't get it. Oh, yeah, even a little dog can sit there and, and be a little motherfucker, right? <laughs> like, if you, if you try to sleep in the middle, like, diagonally, even, like, a 10-pound dog can take up an unreasonable amount of space. Cats are the masters of that, too. Cats are really goddamn good at taking up a cornucopious amount of space on the bed despite their size. Um... I put my arm around the dogs and they put their head on my shoulder. Can't sleep on my chest and put me into sleep paralysis. I really want to be sleep paralyzed one day. I know people be like, it's terrible, you don't want that, but I do. I know it's supposed to be terrible and I want to experience it. I want to know what it's like. I want to get shot too. It's on my bucket list. Stab as well. My dog forces me to sleep on the edge of my bed. I just want to know what it feels like. You know? Sleeping on your back increases... I cannot sleep on my back. It's impossible. Unless I'm really sick. I actually only sleep on my back in the worst possible circumstances, which is when I'm super fucking drunk. Um, I sleep on my back. I actually... Last week, I got so fucked up that I started throwing up everywhere. And I, I went and just like laid down on the couch and... I was laying on my back, and I fell asleep for like three hours, and Autumn and Sif were watching me the entire time. They said, well, I, Sif didn't say anything, but Autumn said she was worried I was going to throw up and die. Um, I'm like, no, I'm chilling. <laughs> like, I'm, 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 I'm just hanging out, you know? Your dogs try to eat your puke? I don't know. I, I very, very seldomly throw up. Um, and I've never thrown up. Where the dogs have a chance to do something like that. There's NFTs on the Pirate Bay. I'm so sick of NFTs. NFT, I got no fucking time for this shit. Stop talking about it. My record for number of vomits in an hour is 11. That's pretty impressive. I, um... Dry heaving is the worst. Dry heaving is, is the nastiest shit. I would rather throw up, like, actually shoot, like, a like a fucking fountain of vomit. Someone drew the line and a monkey making out, and it was really funny, TBH. NFT equals nice fucking tits. Later in undergrad, I started having panic attacks, so I puke all the time. That's sad. I don't know what that's like, but it sounds terrible. Um, I've known people with panic attacks, and it's, it sucks. I, it sucks most, mostly for the person who's having the panic attack, but it's also fucking, uh, really shitty not being able to do anything for the person having a panic attack. The second house I lease just to puke in. Where can I buy a T-Dog Pan NFT? Not gonna happen. The brain is extremely powerful. I felt something jump on my bed while feeling tired so I could barely move my head. That sounds awesome. I don't get them much anymore, but I still have issues with stress. Have you been doing all right with the new job? Has is it, is it exacerbated it at all? I sometimes get panic attacks when I'm trying to sleep. My heart starts beating quickly and I get nervous about it. I mean, I I get that thing where you're about to fall asleep. You know, like, holy shit, what the fuck was that? And then you're just like, you can't sleep for like 20 minutes because you, you startled yourself out of fucking falling asleep. Um, but I don't think that's what you're talking about. You can't talk bad about NFTs because the defenders will come out of the world. You know what? I actually disagree with this. 
I'm going to go ahead and say I think the NFT shit is stupid. I'll fully admit that. But I feel like there are probably a ton of people in here who like NFTs, but like popular opinion is so overwhelmingly against them that I it, they must be terrified to speak up. Maybe terrified's not the right word, but like it must you cannot talk about about them in any sort of positive light without getting dogpiled. Um, maybe maybe that should be the case, maybe not. But I don't think that it's a thing where, you know, I can't, I can't talk about how bad NFTs are. Because that is overwhelmingly popular opinion. Um, there's only one NFT supporter in chat last time. Well, it's like, it's one of those things where there's probably a lot of instances where I talk about something being bad. And there are a ton of people who like whatever I'm talking about who don't say shit. You know? Because... Not everyone feels compelled to defend themselves to some random loser on the internet, right? Um, I don't feel compelled to... Like, I see shit in chat that I think straight up retarded every single stream. I'm not gonna go out of my way to fucking argue about it. <laughs> like, and it's my stream. So, you know, if you were a viewer, you have even less incentive to do that. Um, so, you know, it's just not really... It's not really worth the energy expenditure most of the time. Financial system's broke as fuck. Let's speedrun it again, but this time I'm the one taking advantage of it. God damn it, I said I didn't want to talk about this shit and we're talking about it. Can we talk about, like, I don't know, dragon dildos or something? Hello, Black Royland. Can we talk about cows? Cows are pretty fucking cool. I like cows a lot. Cock slapping your router is the way to get better internet. It is. New Call of Duty, don't know anything about it. Talk about Deathloop, don't know anything about it. You're gonna see a running theme here. I don't know shit about video games. Bad Dragons have a sandworm flashlight, that's awesome. It must be hard to be that chat member who defended sex trafficker training monkeys to steal children in Thailand. I don't recall that. What do you know shit about, Tolo? Not anything. Um, nothing whatsoever. Talk about Nebraska cows that were formerly women are hot. I have a game about that for Game Jill one of these days. How do you feel about the state that Pokemon is in at the moment? I don't understand why you would play Pokemon when SMT exists. Is basically my position on Pokemon. Um, Pokemon's cool. Designs are cool. I know people still like it. But they need to get their shit together and make the games good again. Cows are such sweethearts when you scratch their ears and rub their snouts. Cows are pretty sick. All I know is how to eat hot chip and lie. I do... I hope the new uh, the new games they're making, like the open world Arceus one's cool. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, SMT is ratchet, but Pocketmon is even more ratchet. Newer Pokemon games are designed for preschoolers. I don't know if I would go that far, but I, I don't know. I haven't enjoyed the new ones as much. I don't really enjoy the old ones either. Like, I, I don't know. I just... I don't like it that much as a whole, I guess. It's, um... Eh. Thank you, Spyro, for the 14-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I did have a lot of fun playing a ROM hack earlier this year of Pokemon. Um, made me realize how much more fun those games would be if they standardized having some sort of hard mode or challenge mode. Um, new SMT reminds me of Nocturne quite a bit. Have you ever done a Nuzlocke? No, I don't, I, I don't really like it when you're forced to impose like 7,000 artificial restrictions on yourself to get like a baseline of enjoyment out of the game. Um, I know that's probably really silly coming from the guy who did no roll runs of Dark Souls, but I would rather just play a game that has, like, the same bones, the same, like, fundamentals, but is actually designed around being challenging, right? Um, isn't it just one restriction? It depends. I think there are a ton you can do. But, like, okay, so let me, let me explain it this way. I would rather have a game where you can use all of the mechanics available to you and not feel like you have to gimp yourself. It's one thing to have a game that's initially challenging and then you master it and then further impose difficulty on yourself. Like Dark Souls would be the example. But 
it seems like a waste for me to have something like Pokemon, which has a lot of depth to its systems, has a lot of things going on under the hood. Um, it could be... It could be um, very, very, very compelling. Like, the systems are in place for it to be, like, a, a deep turn-based RPG game, but they just won't pull the trigger on making the content engaging. Um, and there's only so much you can do with that, right? Yeah, you can do the Nuzlocke stuff. I'd rather them just make a Pokemon game where they actually give, like, the gym leaders full teams of, of Pokemon that actually have good movesets. That's why I like the ROM hack a lot. It was fun. Am I allowed to do this very simple thing? Let me check the list of 30 restrictions I put on myself real quick. Pokemon Challenge Run seems fun. Yeah, I'm not trying to, to, you know, shit on Nuzlocke or whatever, but for me to want to do a challenge run of a game, I have to be really compelled by the, the base state of the game, right? Um, I enjoy something that has a lot of systems, a lot of mechanics, and I can utilize them to... Uh, at, at the very minimum, a decent level of competency and still find the game challenging. You like ROM hacks more than the original games for Pokemon? Yes, absolutely. I think that the uh, the Blaze Black 2 Pokemon ROM hack I played was significantly more enjoyable than any actual vanilla Pokemon game I played. Uh, but that's just like my opinion, man. It's so insultingly easy, it feels like a waste of time. To, yeah, yeah. What's going on, Misa Coco? This vaccine booster is kicking my fucking ass. Get some rest. Sleep fixes everything. That's the American way of, uh, of health care. Pop some ibuprofen and Tylenol and go the fuck to bed. It'll fix all of the ailments that you have. Uh, I think all the challenges fit the game pretty well once you randomize it. The randomizer seems more fun. I like the idea of the randomizer. Um, better than me, dude. I have COVID right now. It'll be a while before I'm better. Well, I wish you a swift recovery. I hope you're doing okay. Um, I haven't played since Soul Silver. Hello, Mesh. The Bloody Blaze Black is really good. They balance the Pokemon stats so you can use your favorites. Yeah, I remember Blaze Black Two was really challenging because, like I said, I remember one of the early gyms. They had like a level 18 coughing or some shit that had fucking flamethrower. Uh, that early on, it, like they, the move sets, the Pokemon, etc. It was like, it was fucked up, and it was a lot of fun. But then, I got a Reggie Gigas that had Sheer Force instead of its normal. Uh, it had I don't remember if it was called Sheer Force. It had the 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 passive ability that makes punch moves do a fuck ton more damage, and I completely laid everything else in the game out with just that. <laughs> like it was so broken, dude. It was uh, absolutely absurd. Um, it completely terrorized everything in the game. It was cool. I think I saw a fucked up randomizer that mixed up all the Pokemon that seemed neat. That does seem fun. My favorite part of Blaze Volt is that the gym leaders tend to have a Pokemon that can one-shot you even if you're over-leveled. Yeah. Yeah, they've got good movesets. They've got good, uh, like a good, uh, arrangement of types, even though they're, they're all gonna be like steel or whatever, but the secondary types will... Lead to them having a lot of coverage. God, I sound like such a turbo version. Uh, you know, you know Pokemon has high coverage. Uh, you know, Pokemon ability, Reggie Gigas. Sorry. Kind of hated the Pokemon breeding system, though. It was annoying and took way too long. Like the new Sif Pant walking GIF. I'm glad you enjoy it. I like it a lot, too. I think it's really good. Hooey, are we ready to play some video games? Are you tired of me bloviating about Pokemon or whatever the fuck else? I wish it was an emote. Dude, that would be sick. I need to see if we can get that in emote form. I didn't even think of that. I wonder if it would look good in emote size. A little Mew Kuki. Oh, man. Matter if you sound like you're a terrible version, if everyone you're talking to knows you have a loving wife. I don't think I have a loving wife. Loving girlfriend, but... You have pants sif walking everywhere. Who made them? Uh, Gray Sketch. What? You're not my wife? Yet? Like... Come on. 
See, th I feel like I, I feel like my chat just tries to get me in the fucking uh you know, tries to get me in trouble all of the fucking time. You know? Like I'm just trying to live my life. What's this Death's Gambit game? It's like uh it's a 2D Metroidvania Souls like. So you know, you've never seen one of these before. Are you waiting for Elden Ring? What's going on, Shrapnel? It was my exact attention. I know, you guys try to get me fucking in trouble all of the time. I'm a good little boy. I don't... I don't do anything bad or wrong. Um, You guys just want to torture me. Still don't remember what this game is. So, from what I understand, this game came out a few years ago and it sucked. Um, at least that was popular opinion at the time. But in the last month or two, they did like this huge update to it and fixed a lot of the perceived problems with the game. I didn't play the original version, so I have no frame of reference, personally. But I've played through this game. Like I'm play This is my second playthrough. I'm playing through New Game Plus tonight. Um, and I really liked it when I played through it. So... Game doesn't turn the delay into Twitch Mobile Simulator. Hello, Jenna, you weird fucker. Oh, oh! I need to show you guys this epic, funny meme that I made. Hold on, let me. Speaking of Jenna, what's going on, Balder? How are you, dude? Um, I'm gonna have to fucking find it somewhere. You know much about the game changes? Not really. Um. You're very well told. I hope you are as well. I'm okay. You're quite popular, Jennifer. Yeah, I should just get Jenna to stream for me. You know? Easy peasy. Do that thing now where you play everything before you stream and it seemed to... Well, no, I just... I didn't intend on streaming this. It's that, um... There's a boss that I can only fight by playing through the entire game again, basically, right? So, I figured, fuck it. I may as well. I don't... I don't have anything to stream. Maybe chat will like it. And if I if they don't, then I only... Um, I can get through it in one stream. So, it shouldn't be that big of an inconvenience for them. Um, Alright. Rate my meme. I made this, dude. Do you like it? Do you think it's good or do you think it's dog shit? What do you think? Oh, I personally like it. Oh, bad? Come on. Oh, I'm get a picture of Jenna. Because we went to the aquarium a couple days ago and we saw a sleeping manatee and I said, Oh, look, Jenna's sleeping through class again. And then the, the two neurons I have in my head started firing. Never even see the manatee in Animal Crossing because you won't play it again. I don't think anyone wants me to play fucking Animal Crossing again. So you need what you need to understand is that I'm a slut. If chat really wants me to do something, most likely I will do it. I I do what I think chat wants. I don't really I try not to do things that chat won't like. Um, I think a lot about what they what they do and don't like. I pay a lot of attention to how people react to certain things. Um, I'm not always right, but I, I do pay attention. Peer pressure him to playing trash. Let's do a poll. You picture the sleepy manatee. Um, AC might be funny to get a new wave of degenerates in chat. I think we probably missed the boat on Animal Crossing, but Monster Hunter and Mech Warrior. What's going on, East Guard? They should do a, a, a combination Mech Warrior Monster Hunter. Chat really wants you to stream Nekopara? Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. Nekopara, huh? Mechster Hunter. It's True Melon. I'm probably going to play Dreams for the next stream. I want to start playing that again. It's been like a year. And now that the DMCA shit has, has loosened a little bit. I can I can go play shitty Wallace and Gromit Shrek games on Dreams again all fucking night. Um, 
Become a Call of Duty Vanguard streamer. Tong No was also a favorite. One of these days I'll play the sequel. I bet most people don't even remember what Tong No was, though. <laughs> like, a game about Slinkies would be cool. I haven't found a game about Slinkies. Quest for Cheese 4 Pog? Yeah, it's been a year. Yeah, it's been longer than a year. What I remember the most about the Dream Streams wasn't even anything that happened in Dreams. It was, it's more that Mausolus was at his absolute apex of being obnoxious when we were playing Dreams. Like, I remember every fucking stream we played of that, Mausolus was just going fucking insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was something about the Wallace and Gromit Shrek collaborations that activated all of his neurons and just made him really, really fucked in the head. Uh, thank you, LG Kurtz, for the 28-month resub. Appreciate it. Remember when Maz used to say, sell me on this game? I must be the worst person in the world for selling people on games. Um, you know? Last stream stream was June 2020. So yeah, it's been a year and a half. God damn, time flies, huh? That was a long fucking time ago. Make sure you update Animal Crossing before streaming. I didn't say I was streaming Animal Crossing. When did I ever say that? I haven't even bought the DLC. I haven't played Animal Crossing since the last time I streamed it. So. Mm, you're oftentimes an advocate for games that will never see the light of day. I don't know about that. Um, anyone who plays sponsorship is worse than you at getting someone into games. I've played sponsorship before. I played Sekiro. Dude, one of the most scum fuck things I did as a streamer was I had... Twi like, I had a uh, scheduled front page time on Twitch when Sekiro came out. Um, so they just put me on the front page to get, like, however many fucking viewers. And there was a Twitch bounty for Sekiro. And so I played the game, was on the front page, and activated my bounty to get the maximum payout possible. <laughs> Which, you know, um, it worked. It worked very fucking well. I, I That was fucking awesome. Um... I still live... No, it wasn't that much money. The, the, the bounties don't really give you that much money. But it was just like, why not, right? I'm doing it anyways. How much you make? I don't think I'm allowed to dis like to say, but it was it was three-digit. It wasn't anything crazy. It was it was in the three-digit range. Um, it's not like I'm, I'm making fucking, you know, disgusting amounts of money. Sekiro is a good game, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it if it's literally just going to be something I was going to do or I'm legitimately interested in doing. Did it for Dark Souls Remastered, too. So. But that's probably not what you're talking about. You're probably talking about that. Hey, everybody! Look at this u unique uh, Stardew Valley-style Chumbus Valley. Um... <laughs> You know, try the resurrection mod tool. It's great, still in development, but it's absolute not dog. I don't play video games anymore. I, I my singular focus in video game life after this game is SMT Five. I paid fucking way too much money for that goddamn game, and I plan on playing it. Um, I love Nocturne, so I'm really looking forward to it. I've been wanting a turn-based game for a while now. What the fuck is SMT? TLDR, uh, it's Pokemon, but really hard and with fucked up demons instead of Pokemon. You know? New thing where streamers play a video ad and reacts to it and it's making me lose my mind. Pokemon, but good. Guessing not on stream? No, I don't think it'll be on stream. I think you're not allowed to stream the entirety of the game anyways. At least that's what Captain Crow was trying to tell me. Um, this weekend, I want to play Dreams and stay out of the house. I'm finally going to fucking play Stay Out of the House on Saturday, I think. So, fucking spiritual successor to the Nun Massacre. Waited fucking literal years for this shit. It's probably going to be terrible. Did they finish it? No. They'll never finish it, so I just got the most recent version off of their pay-me-tons. 
I feel like you've been saying I'm going to play Stay Out of the House for years. Well, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for them to finish it. Um, I've accepted now they'll never finish it. I'm just going to p play the version that's out. So, you know. Atlas is retarded about streaming? Yeah. And, dog, with how often I stream, do you know how long it would take for me to stream the entirety of, like, a 70-hour long JRPG? It would be nothing but SMT streams for a year. <laughs> like, that would be a fucking nightmare. I thought you were going to go outside. No, no, I'm not going outside ever. Um, we actually went outside, not yesterday, but the day before, to go see the Longhorns for Autumn's birthday. It was her birthday a couple of days ago. She's 78 now, if you can believe it. Um, and we wanted to take her to see the cows one last time before we, we, we old yell at her, you know, the team are like the literal longhorns. I don't do sports. There was a sick longhorn who had one horn pointing straight up and the other pointing straight down. And he was fucking awesome. One of the coolest cows I've ever seen. I don't know how the fuck he walked like that, but you know. Did you get a photo? No, I don't take I don't take photos. Take on home as a pet. I wish. I want a friendly pig. I want to go to that island with friendly pigs that are just swimming in the ocean. That would be so sick. I don't know where that's at, but I really want to go there one day. Um. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink, and then I guess we'll start the game. Showed my BF cows for the first time, but they wouldn't let him pet them, so he fed them corn cobs. So there was a part at this place where they had a, a, a longhorn that you could get on and ride. Like, not ride, but you could stay on top of it and get pictures. Um, excuse me. And the cow didn't care at all. It was kind of funny. What kind of fucker has never seen a cow? I don't know, dude. I don't think they have cows in, in Antarctica. Um, so you got to pet a trout, though? What the fuck? All right, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Of course there are cows in Antarctica. That's how we get ice cream. Holy shit. That makes a lot of fucking sense. Oh. One sec. I hate to... to fiddle with something really quick. Okay, I guess we can start the game. You think that's a good idea? Oh, oh. I need someone to, like, break my back in half. Just absolutely fucking crumple me. Crunch me like a grape. 
Also, isn't the Minecraft update coming out in a couple weeks? Thirtieth? We might have to make a server for that. Maybe Ratcraft too. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. I have to turn this up. It's very quiet. Can you hear the music? I thank you, Flappy Pappy, for the two month resub. Uhuru Aquaya, y'all. Thank you very much. Gonna build Angkor Wat and Ratcraft. Angkor Wat was the worst monster in 3U, for sure. So Minecraft and not Animal Crossing? Yeah. It let me skip all the way to New Game Plus 3, so I wonder how hard this is going to be. Let me know if you can still see it and if it's a good frame rate and everything, Why please. Dead, were you? Playing Halo Infinite open beta <laughs> multiplayer? Fuck no! Shame it's always the cowards that survive. Concealed in the fate of your men, I thought I'd Hot be lizard inside. man, this is a scaly game. It is, it's all about getting dicked by scalies. Okay, I don't really fucking care. See, this is the guy that we're gonna fucking fight. Um, you can side against death in one of the endings, and I want to beat the fuck out of him and see if he's a good boss fight. Try harding Halo right now. Better um, use. You remember this con in return. Give man, I miss try harding to... video games. I'll probably try hard SMT. Spoilers, yeah, I've I've beat the entire game. I saw a new game plus, so this is a spoiler stream. Can ride a stupid fucking horse into the wilderness. All the characters sexy so far. Hell yeah, dude. Where all the hot guys? You just missed him. He was a lizard daddy. His cloaca was dripping. My legs are dead. Why? Is this 2D Elden Ring? Yes. Okay. All right. Happened in the original ending again? I have no fucking idea. That's a good question. Um, give me a second. I need to switch out my items here. Oh, I can't- I can't fucking double jump with this. God damn it. Why is your cloaca dripping? That's just how God made me, you know? That's just- that, that's how I was born. How much do you like CBT Mario 64 hacks? It depends what- what you consider to be CBT, because I'm not very good at Mario 64, so I played some of them that were like, uh, an okay level of difficulty, but not CBT, not the crazy shit that people do. Um, I played The Last Impact and... God, what was the other one fucking called? Fuck me, I can't recall. Last Impact. Star Road, yeah, yeah, Star Road. I played those and I really liked them, but I don't think most Mario players would consider that CBT. What's going on, Shivian? Rafa? My cloaca is dripping in a God-respecting way. People are starting to discover how big whale penises are. I saw a post uh, talking about blue whale cocks, and they had pictures and everything. It was impressive. Oh shit, okay, so we're strong. Star Wars, the one with the messed up final boss. No, I think that was Last Impact. Do you have a death wish? Yeah. Eluding death gives you a god complex, I see. Scalies are into whales. Now, yeah, whales have huge nuts. Go right on ahead. And cocks. Sure have you ever seen tortoise penises before? No, I don't think so. What's going on, Pliskin? Thank Much you for six months. Think twice. Appreciate it. So I totally to killed this dude uh, in my first playthrough, like at the beginning of the game. This lizard man. TikTok ruined whale cocks. I need to become more, uh, more experienced with TikTok. I don't know much about it. I've heard there's some epic content on there. There's some people in my Discord who fucking love TikTok, dude. Like, it's their favorite shit in the world. 
I don't have any of my epic abilities. Okay. Wanna circumcise a whale? I feel like- Oh shit, these weren't here before. Okay, so New Game Plus, I guess, actually adds, like, enemy placements and stuff. Uh-oh. It'd be really funny if whales had external testes. It would because they're absolutely massive. Like, they're so fucking huge. Oh, wow. These guys hit quite fucking hard now. Okay. I think a whale nut can be like 150 pounds or some crazy shit. Um... What's going on, Hardcore Hanroy? How have you been, dude? Is we teabag everything if they could? I don't remember there being a fucking statue here. Oh. Okay. So there's mimic save points in regular zones now. I think I mostly remember where they are. Is no one answering me? Why? What, what was your question? I like your wings. I know I look like a little fucking... I, I look like a little guy online deviant art asshole. Roosters also have balls in them. I was surprised at how big they are. This game feel better? I, I don't know how the original felt, but I think this game feels good. I should think of ideas to build for the 1.18 Ratcraft server. Yeah, I think I think also with the Ratcraft server, I might make it limited to like the stream. I don't know if I'm gonna be talking. If I do it, I, it's not 100%. But the last time I did it, there were a bunch of people on Discord who were just like being shitty about it. Um, so I might I might not not even talk about it in the Discord. <laughs> like, just fucking keep it to uh, the people in here. You know, RTS games, I like them, but I'm bad at them. I used to play Command & Conquer Tiberium Sun with my dad when I was a little, a little fucking sprout. Um, I remember one of my earliest gaming memories was I found an editor that let you, let you edit all of the stats for the units, and I made it to where uh, my dad only played one faction, right? So I made it to where... The opposing faction's units were ridiculously OP to the point where they could, like, auto-attack, one-shot the base from all the way across the map. And my dad was not happy with me. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he, he, was not a, he was not a happy camper. It was one of my... One of my favorite early video game memories. Conquer Red Alert open source engine if you want to play the game again. I also really liked Empire Earth. Empire Earth was an awesome RTS, but I, I was I'm not good at them to the point where I could ever PvP in them, right? Like I like the, the Care Bear PvE RTS games. I I tried playing StarCraft 2 and I was really bad at it. I was only like silver. I really sucked at that game. So play Deadlock? No. Empire Earth. Empire Earth was the best. I love... So Empire Earth was an RTS where you basically start at the Stone Age and you can work up to, like, Gundams and shit, basically, right? Um, and I liked playing against, like, nine AI players and just rushing Gundams and, like, pummeling people who were still using crossbows with, like, nukes and gigantic robots and shit. Um, it was so fun. I play a Masters and SC2 The Secret. Is it more shit counters less shit? This one won't do either. Yeah, I played Protoss and I was really bad. What Heard of the Dark Souls then? mod where Halo guns were added? Nope. An explanation for another time. Seems we have a straggler. Uh oh. Don't say remind me. The trusty one. The end was my go to move in that game. That's not? good. It is not too late. I actually played Age of Empires 2 way later in life, like within the last couple of years. And I gotta say, I, th I think Empire Earth is just better. Oh, holy shit, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Bye. I don't know what she was doing. Cool. So yeah, this game's really fucking hard. Um... You know, most people are if you watch SC2 on Twitch. 
New game plus it is. So here, hold on. Can I can I do it yet? She didn't even get to jump once. I completely fucked her, dude. Um, that was disgusting. But that's new game plus, I guess. It doesn't seem particularly highly scaled. It seems like the enemies do a lot of damage, but they don't have a lot of health. So, how Sif? She's good. She's coping with the addition of Daisy still, but. It's hard to tell if they love each other more than life itself, or they can't stand each other sometimes, you know? It's... it's... Because Sif's kind of a weird dog. Maybe it's both. It probably is. They're sisters, after all. Sounds like siblings. Yeah. Yeah, it does. gonna go ahead and fucking speed run this and get to that boss you know i fucked up today was thursday we could have gotten goku what the fuck am i doing we still can if i beat this before before what's going on gravitas how are you Change game now? Oh, dude, dude, the, the fucking new game plus damage. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh my god, okay. Wow. Can beat this before 12? Honestly, yeah, I probably could. Uh. Remember this guy wrecking you? That's weird, because I've never streamed this game until today. People- it's weird how many people supposedly have, like, a memory of me playing this game. Okay, so this is the heroic version, which is significantly more difficult. Although really not that much more difficult. Didn't? Nope. I didn't even own this game until a week ago. Um, this is it. This is literally my first time streaming it. You defeated your first heroic challenger. Outer Wilds. I actually do. It's weird. Well, it yeah. So it's like. Last. I don't know, dude. Immortal press X to doubt. Well, immortal just means they keep coming back to life in perpetuity in this game. Okay, so now we got mobility. Fucking first try. Well, yeah, it's new game plus. So, when's the subverse stream? I don't know what that is. All right, we're gonna try to beat this in two hours, so we can um we can get Goku and Isiki Mario. How difficult was the first playthrough? So, the normal bosses aren't very hard, but some of the heroic fights are absolutely retarded. Um. Some of the fights are really fucking hard if you do the heroic versions, even on a leveled character. So, I like that a lot about the game. Okay, we're speed running the dog. Hey, Goku, you're an S. No, I'll never even be a 1S tier stream. Are you crazy? I'm like, I'm like D tier at best. Okay, shut up. I don't want to talk to any of you. We're speed running it, baby. Um, I don't know. I was expecting New Game Plus to be a little bit more challenging, but those are the first two bosses, so I'm sure once we start, like, I'm not, I don't plan on leveling up much more, so I'm sure once we get a little further in, it'll, it'll start being uh, at a point where the enemies are formidable. Oh, Pyro Man. Why are you doing New Game Plus? Because I need to fight a boss that I, uh, I could not fight on my first run. Because there's different endings. I guess I could have started all the way over, but I don't really want to. I wanted to see New Game Plus. Insolent mortal. Your struggle is... Summers is the foreign game that broke the record of fastest gold mat on Kickstarter. Your conviction pales in comparison. I still don't really understand porn games. The Ascendant will not hear your plea. Porn games have one of, been one of life's mysteries for me. 
Okay. Know your place amongst the rabble. We're gonna Come fuck this dude up. This guy's heroic version on my first Hell run was the always. first boss that gave me a little bit of trouble. But I imagine on, uh, on normal difficulty it's gonna be a fucking massacre. Oh, he hit me. God damn it. Oh, I'm such a baddie. He touched me. Barely a porn game. You just unlock an NSFW gallery and a menu. Porn feels less self-indulgent if there's some work involved. That's the basic idea. Okay. I guess I can sort of understand that. Not really, but I'll, I'll pretend. Okie dokie. The guy who made Cattle Castle made another video game that I have in my Game Jolt folder. Um, apparently this one doesn't have any hardcore nudity, so I might be able to play it on Twitch. But it would be funny if, if I got banned. Um, I guess maybe we'll see. So I have to kill a couple of these heroic bosses for the end. Oh shit. I fucked up. I was trying to get my attack back on energy. Okay. I'm kinda of getting fucked up. Daddy. Oh shit! I got fucking one shot by one of the balls. I wasn't paying attention. Hello, Noodle. God damn it. I'm a stooge. No death runs fucking over. Partly because you have to input what happens regarding to the porn a lot of them, and partly to help you edge for a long time. These porn games are breaking your dicks. You realize that, right? Is this the last boss? No, I just started. It's like the third boss. We've got, we've got a lot of bosses left, don't worry. I'm trying to see if I can beat a run of this quick enough to get uh, Goku in, in Isaki Mario. You know? I might be able to do it. Maybe. Okay, I have to pay, I have to pay much attention to this now. Stupid ass little balls of shit. Edge. But yeah, fighting this dude on new game where you barely did any of his health to hit took me probably like an hour to hit this motherfucker. Um, it's much easier on new game plus surprising literally nobody. Easy peasy. Melon, why are you assuming shit that's toxic? This boss is a noob filter. I can't say this for everyone or for every game, but porn games only get my interest when the story or gameplay seems interesting anyway, so it's more like the porn is just a bonus. Tolo cares about my dick more than I do. A, a good streamer should care immensely about the dicks of their followers. That's what Sun Tzu said, right? Again and again until I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Do you care about my dick? No, I don't, actually. I'm lying. I couldn't really care less about your little tallywhackers. I played one porn game in my life. I wasn't joking when he asks, how's that cop? What Goku would say? A Goku? A penis in the hand is worth two in the sand? Words to live by, for sure. 
customize your moves? Uh, yeah, you can. A weapon, like a, like a school of weapons like spear will have spear moves and you can pick from the spear moves. Right? There's some moves that aren't weapon dependent. I don't have any of those, but they exist. Let's just fucking speed our way through. Goku doesn't know what a penis is. I, I kind of feel like Goku and Vegeta might have... Like... I'm just saying, the hyperbolic time chamber, you two dudes, you can get frustrated, you know? Shit can get stressful. Is this the Funko Pop stream? Yeah. I love Funky Pops. How are you, Bangladesh? From the uncensored pick from porn games on Reddit? Jenna. What a creature. No. Tolo is a shipper. That's me. I like the reason I don't stream a lot is because I spend all of my time on website shipping Goku and Vegeta. It's true. It's what's important. Tolo's my favorite streamer. I don't believe you, but thank you. How could I be your favorite when people like Meglove exist? It just doesn't make any fucking sense. been live lately? No, I think she died. You're my favorite streamer total. I don't believe you, Joe. I think you're I think you're spreading falsehoods. Now well, get back here, bitch. I could just stun lock her, that's fucking hilarious. Holy shit! Oh! Oh, she's unlocking me. Oh, man. Man, New Game Plus is so fucking easy, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? No, I feel bad. I was like, I like this game, and I'm just like... I don't know, dude. I'm fucking these guys in the mouth. Um... Whoopsie. The heroic version will kick my ass a couple of times, I, I promise. What's going on, Cipharoni? You're good, Tolo, but you're no arcade. I know. I know. I haven't I haven't offered nearly enough back massages that turn into me trying to fist buttholes, you know? Maybe. Uh yes, Balder. Every single one has a heroic version. The heroic versions are actually the real ones. He did that. It's an exaggeration, but he... There was a uh, eyewitness account of something where he's like, Yeah, you want a back scratch? And it turned into him trying to, like, you know, do a little bit more than a back scratch. Which is not cash money. Okay, I hate this fucking boss, actually, and you're about to see why. Start off with the tummy rub and then move into the- Well, back scratches are honestly one of the best ways to get laid, if you're with- in a relationship with that person, in my experience. But, like, offering what is normally a platonic friend a back scratch and then trying to turn that into something else is fucking weird. Uh-oh. Yep, I fucking hate this boss. Heroic version's moves at least different? Yes. Hello, Seamus. Never known true suffering until you've been dishonorably discharged and then offering random women massages? Yeah, I guess not. I'm gonna say the worst message of the night. I doubt it. It's very rare that the worst message isn't something that I say. People try to massage me, it's way too personal. I like massages. Shit's cash. So this game reminds me of a darker maple story. At least it doesn't remind you of a salt sanctuary, am I right? Oh fuck. Oh, 
I thought he started streaming again. I remember he did like an emote only stream and everyone was posting nays. It was actually really fucking funny. It was probably the best stream he's ever done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being toxic, but it was pretty funny. Um, I'm, I'm mean. You came back? Yeah. Oh god, oh god. Oh! Ah! I thought I could stagger him. I couldn't. What Epic Gamer headset to use? I don't use headsets. I think headsets are actually haram and of the devil. Um, a headset is basically a way to spend money to have a shitty mic and shitty headphones. Just get a good amount of headphones. Like, get, or a good amount of headphones. Get a good pair of headphones and a good mic separate. Uh, that way, if one breaks, you aren't fucked, too. Um, I hate headsets. Maybe they've gotten better in the years that I haven't been using them, but I, I have had nothing but bad experiences. Just get, like, a good pair of headphones and a decent mic, and you should be set. Like some Sennheisers or something. You should love yourself enough to not get a headset mic combo. I hate that laugh. Yeah, you, you're being misogynist. You only hate it because she's a woman, right? Oh, wow. Fuck. What headphones do you use? I use Audio Technicus. Um, holy shit, I'm bad. Golden Tot streamed randomly to meme on Arcadum since he was also off the internet for something similar. Wait, so you're saying like sex offenders are, are like streaming despite other sex offenders now? Are we gonna see the Smash Brothers match between Arcadum and Cry? That'd be pretty fucking sick. Was your setup list near about? Dude, nobody looks at the about section. Come on. I do, I don't believe you do. I think you're lying to me, AF. You know how that makes me feel? I miss Cry PP hands? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck you mean you miss Cry? Yeah, I am. They don't know that. No! thing is, they might. Like, there are people who would be like, man, I just want The Last of Us 2 to play through, dog. Like, I don't care about all this weird shit. I just, like, I wanna, I wanna see The Last of Us. Man. That's what's really important. Oh, you bitch. I'm getting fucked up. Oh no. Oh, goddammit. Full down elapse. Dude, I hate this multi fight shit. I fucking. This is like the worst fight until later in the game. This one fucked me up so many times on my first run, too. They just won't leave me alone. My biggest regret in life is owning a Cry t-shirt. Honestly, dude, if that is your worst regret in life, then you're living pretty well. My worst regret in life is that one time I ran over a pack of children on the way through a school zone. So, I don't know, dude. Um, I'd say you're living, you're, you're living pretty good. Why do you regret that I don't? Cry 
that plushie this one pretty big I, like I said, I don't... Like, there's no way you could have really known, you know? I get that it probably feels weird now, but... I didn't really have a reason to believe that. Except, like, until... Actually, no, I take that back. Until... He took me and several other men on a journey into Roblox to play dress-up pageants with seven-year-old girls. You had no real evidence that he was that way, I think. Uh, but yeah, that, after that happened, then I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Oh no. No, you bastard! You son of a bitch, fuck you! Oh my god. You're such a motherfucker. That's funny. Get fucked. Yeah, I got greedy. Dumbass. I know. People get tattoos as streamers should get the electric chair. Don't commit sex crimes on the internet. No, don't worry, dog. Like I said, I, I've said it before. Um, you're, there, there have been a few people who have been like, Tolomeo, I can't wait until we find out what you did, motherfucker. You're going to be waiting a long time. <laughs> I, I hope you're patient because... Uh, one of the only benefits of being a completely boring piece of shit is you don't really do a hell of a lot. Um, you know? Can I just spending more money on you? I know. Uh, thank you, Masanori. 72 months. I appreciate it. How have you been? But that being said, just because I say there's nothing doesn't mean there's nothing. You should, you should. It's, it's okay and correct to not trust dreams. Um, that is definitely the right play, as the last few years have probably shown you. God damn it! Ah. Tell who killed the man for messing up his Whataburger order? God, I wish. Keep your eyes on the prize. Remember, Goku, we're not getting Goku, dude. I'm getting walled by the fucking Phoenix. The subjectivity of obscenity laws allow a lot of things to be debatedly illegal. Confirmed, he is a saint on my way to get a T-Dog for Wu tattoo. No, don't do that. Oh, and as to this game, this, this fight's just really annoying because in the double the double phase they can overlap attacks. Um, it's the only fight in the game that's really this, this wacky with uh, the multi and stuff. There are fights that have ads, but not like this. Oh god. Oh god. I fucking this fight. It's JP. Getting a full Tolomeo arm sleeve tattoo. Uh, Phoenix girl bossing, yeah. See, I, I told you, not every boss is, a, is just a fucking stomp. Merry Christmas, Genso. My spell ain't a backward account got banned for an inappropriate name. You told me. We, we discussed this. You were upset that your streak ended. I don't... I don't think it should have gotten banned for what it's worth. So the arena's just one flat plane. I do. I would much rather have the arena be flat than just, like, stupid bullshit everywhere making it hard to actually play the game. Maybe that's just a personal preference, but, uh... Is DLC a separate game? They updated it. I've never played the original game. Um, they did a pretty big expansion where they uh, overhauled apparently a lot of the things that people didn't like about this game.
Ah, oh, dude, I hate the little suck thing. I was so... Ah. Oh. Stupid bullshit is key to platformer design. Hold on. You know what? I'll cheese this. There's a little a little feature you can do where you can augment your plume, which means you can throw away some of your heals for extra damage. I think I probably need that here. Too close to the boss, the damage would not computer. I haven't really experienced that problem. A friend of mine got her dog's paw print tattooed on her when he passed away. That's sad. It's a cool mechanic. Yeah, I know. A lot of the end game secret super bosses literally don't let you heal, so. At least not with the healing item. Run around so much. Stinky bitch. <laughs> what? Okay. I really suck at this fight. Tax rate in your state? Oh, I, I don't know. It's Texas, so probably not particularly high. I'm Tax, that's all I really care about. If other people don't want to get it, then there's not much I can do about that, right? There we go, Jesus Christ. That should not have taken that long. Holy fuck, more, what a nightmare. And I'll judge whether you're worthy or not. Animals die as evidence Don't of the existence of a malevolent god. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll never hear the secret I have to tell you. Finally told us to stop throwing for content. No mods wide hardo. I don't know what a wide hardo is. But the only mod here that you need to be worried about is me. I'm the one who bans everybody. Um, my mods are pretty handoff. The person you've got to look out for is me. You annoy me enough times, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, uh, I'm gonna give you a kiss on the cheek. You wouldn't want that, would you? Hello, March. What's up? Okay, where am I going? Let me see. He's gonna arcade a moss. Okay, well, no. I think I have to, uh. Yeah, I can't go here yet until I beat another boss. I forget which one it was. Hey, fuck off, asshole. Ever hold in your pee for so long you get a cramp in your side? No. Currently feeling sick and can't be held responsible. Everyone knows the other mods are clout chasers. I don't. Clout chasers, huh? I try to mod people who I think really won't like it, generally speaking. Like, or rather people who aren't the sort that would take uh, any pride in being a mod. I haven't always succeeded. I am understood why even mod people, because if something happens, I would, I would like to not have to fuck with it. Like, if there's... There used to be, when I started streaming, the first couple of years... There'd be, uh, like, robots all of the time who would come in and post, like, fucked up fishing links. Uh, Elena robots, if you remember that. It used to be, like, pretty fucking non-stop, actually. So having mods for things like that is very helpful. Um. Your boyfriend is the only person who knows. Some of my friends don't even know what Discord is. LNA4953484. Yeah, yeah. It sucked. The shit was aggravating. Death rules. I'm just kidding. Any other weapons besides the spear? Oh yeah, there are a ton of weapons. I just like the spear, you know? Oh fuck. Okay. No, don't hurt me. Oh my god, I hate these things. Okay. 
I am trying to remember what I'm doing. Here's King of the Weapons. I feel like the long sword is probably the best weapon, but I like the spear. Um, glad you ganked that furry. Hello, sushi fish. That's what I do. I think the mod should be the ones posting the ASCII hentai. I agree, but Twitch would, Twitch will like get pissed at you and ban you if you allow too much bullshit in your chat. Like if they, like if I had a bunch of people posting racist shit, for example, and I didn't do anything to stop it, they would. Uh, probably rightfully uh, say that I was enabling it. So you can't allow, like, random ASCII posting of dicks because they'll ban you for that. Um, we're gonna get some L fudge sandwich cookies. Do not be bad, chat. I'm gonna say a slur? No, you're not. Oops, I had chat closed low. Still waiting for the day's genesis, something worth reading. What's going on, Stegosaurus? Hmm. What the fuck? What? So, okay, I want to talk to you about a boss you're not going to see in this run. Because it's a, uh... It's for the other route. There's, like, a super secret boss where you have to do, like, this weird ARG shit that I totally didn't figure out myself. And I looked up on the internet how to fight him. And it might be one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Like, the boss is really easy, but every 25%, he goes like, and disappears. And you can't fight him anymore. And what the mechanic is, is when he disappears, he'll drop a bunch of particles that are either red or blue. And you have to count the particles, right? So, like, five blue, two red, whatever. And the particles are how many hours forward or behind you have to set your system clock in order to keep fighting him. It's fucking awful. Um, like it's, it, I really like this game, but that fight is, is so fucking annoying. Um, that I, I can't really defend that. It's neat, I guess, as a mechanic, but holy shit. Um... Didn't enjoy it in practice, I, I would say. Oh. Inconvenient? To put it mildly. Christ, okay, this isn't where I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go to the church now? Some Game Theory Reddit rabbit hole mechanic? Observe myself to mostly being polite to Jenny Yu in text and calling her retarded through voice. I bought a shirt that says I may look like shit, but I'm also dumb as fuck. I mean, I have that shirt, too. Um, it's a good fucking shirt. I wore it to pick uh, Autumn's mom up from the airport. This is like, welcome to Texas. Do you like my shirt? I need that shirt. It's a good shirt. We'll skip that. I say we're about one third of the way through to the point where we need to be. I want the one about apologizing for offending people. Can we form a shirt club? Yeah. It can be like, uh... Oh. These dudes are so cute. I love their voice. Oh no. I'm getting fucked up. Riding frogs, yeah. Game so far. Oh, I've I've beaten it. I'm going through a different route to fight another boss and just streaming it for the fuck of it. I like the game a lot. Uh oh. Oh no. All of these enemies are fucking purple now. How miserable. Replaying the game because he missed the Dark Lurker fight. Well, it's not something that I missed. You literally can't do all the bosses in one run, so. Um. It'll take more than your obnoxious grit to get through. Shut the fuck up. Yes, yes, you're immortal. Maybe Total will play Bloodstained next? Probably prayed. not. You 
just run through the mines in this game. It's kind of funny. I also bought the gamer acronym shirt because I'm epic and progressive. I don't think you are. I don't think you're epic or progressive. I don't believe you, Cifferoni. Wow? Don't wow me. What the fuck? It's not progressive to piss on carpets? Exactly. Oak Tree's right for once. What's going on, Skull Candy? How are you and the pups? But why? I mean... Dog. Come on. Rebuy this with DLC, but for PC? It's good. I'm progressive in the opposite direction. I'm progressive because I think they, that small children should be forced to wear shot collars in restaurants. Uh, so they don't scream and annoy me. Top five liars in chat. Well, you're number one. Um, so, okay, okay. It's something I've talked about before. There are a couple of people who I'm, I'm on good terms with, but they always have, like, these... Like, always have just these ridiculous stories. Every single time, they're, like, they're the most interesting people in the world. And maybe they are. I don't know for a fact, but I've always kind of got the vibe that they're compulsive liars. Because I've known compulsive liars before, and they remind me a lot of these people. Um, you know? And I'm not going to name and shame. But I definitely think it's a thing. Yeah, we're going to fuck this bitch up. I'm sorry, but it's all true. This is the sad music fight. You've ever made up a story before? Well, you're not one of the people. Like I said, I'm not I'm not really interested in being like, I think this person lies about everything they say, but I'm saying that this person lies about everything they say. Um <laughs> you know. I just get that vibe. I don't know if it's tr if that's actually the case, but I'm gonna start lying. Please don't call me out, Mr. Tolo. Oh, don't worry. You've never said anything. I don't know. You you don't say interesting things enough. Jumps. You don't worry. You'd be a compulsive liar when I was younger and you notice that it's habits a ton of people. I've known them in real life and it's gnarly. Because, like, there's not a... Usually there's no malice whatsoever in it. It's just they lie about the stupidest shit. Um, Why have you come to disturb me? It's you know? Leave this weather, you empty. Nothing to put their story. Definitely not creative enough to lie. Beyond these gates. You like this game? Oh, I like this game a lot. Oh, good. I'm not interesting. You set yourself up for that one. Come on, dog. Don't lie about big shit, just minor life stories. Yeah, like I knew one in church. His name was James, and he always just talked about all the things he was doing in RuneScape. Um, because I told him he should play it, and he made all of these wacky ass stories up. Be like, oh yeah, I started playing, and I got my alchemy level to seventy, and I'm like, no, you didn't. He's like, no, I mean, I made 70 potions. Like, I don't, I don't think you're being forthcoming with me, James. And it would just be about really asinine bullshit like that, right? Literally nothing of consequence. James are always where they are, dude. James are psychopaths, like 100% of the time. But in a good way. I, I like James. James. Um, I do remember he embarrassed the shit out of me once, though, because, um, we were sitting in the back, uh, during, during prayer time at church, and we weren't praying, and I looked over at James, and he started making, like, this gnarly fucking face and rubbing his nipples at me to try to get me to laugh in the middle of the solemn prayer, and it worked. I burst out laughing in the middle of prayer time, and everybody looked at me, dude. Everybody was like, why the fuck is this guy laughing during our prayer time? And, uh, yeah, I looked like a real motherfucker. You got me total. I don't actually own a flashlight. I knew you didn't own a clitorizer. Oh shit! A uh, what? You heard me? Did I fucking stutter? I knew 
knew a guy called James who got so upset about being rejected by a girl that he scratched his own face and drew blood. That's awesome. That's what you gotta do. There's a period of time with teenage boys where they think that girls find that shit impressive. I remember one time I got a new puppy when I was 13, and she bit my ear open. I'm bleeding all over my face. My first thought is I want to show this chick my bleeding face to show her how tough I am, who I am. I knocked on her door, and I was like, hey. And she's like, what's wrong with you? What, what are you doing? <laughs> it wasn't a good idea, but it seemed, it seemed like one at the time, right? Homeschooling is strange things to mind. Joker moment? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not actually emo Tobo, please forgive me. I don't care if you emo or not. I do find it irresistible when people get bodily fluids on me. God, Kyle, you were so strong and brave and tough and sexy, I know. Like. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't say anything remotely close to that for whatever reason, but... God, okay, so I'm... I'm blinking out on how to progress right now. You'll have to... You'll have to forgive my, my stumbling. Um, okay. I guess I'm gonna go through here. I like how pubescent boys thinks, think the things they're doing make them cool in the eyes of girls when they only make them cool. Well, it's because every... Every teenage boy wants to bang their friends. They'll never admit it at all, ever, but it's just, you know, it's one of those things, right? It's one of those deep, dark urges that'll never never be articulated. It's, it's forbidden to speak of it. I don't know, I'm just making shit up. Wants to bang their- what? They're homies! Let me bang, bro. Don't listen to me. Okay. My being gay is so cool. Okay, so check this shit out. I want to show you something. You see this little blue dude over here? Isn't he cute? Doesn't he make the saddest little noise when you step on him, ending his life? Why wouldn't you bang your friends? They have good vibes. I mean, you can see it in all aspects of life. Right? Oh, fuck. Man, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay, Freud. That poor creature was fucked when you called him out for being cute while standing next to him? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Fuck. I remember what to do now, okay. I didn't fight the giant. Yeah, this boss looks really cool. Gums are bleeding? Why? Why do you always have some sort of horrific ailment? Also, look at this. Isn't this sick? I like these guys. Don't? No, I'm not. I don't even think you can. My anal gland is bleeding? Don't say that. I love snails. Snails are pretty sick. We have so many snails in our fucking house in all of our aquariums. At least 20, I would say. Between all of the tanks. I like them. They're homies. Little guys only existed in one spot of the game in the original. Well, there's a really cool spot. Okay, I'm gonna show you something fucking awesome. Are you ready for this shit? I'm gonna show you the secret boss that's really fucking hard. Um, I didn't really want to fight him again because he's he's a super big pain in the ass, but I just... I have to. You know? Oh. 
Nothing escapes Sir Thomas of the Dark Hole, the Vetter, Venar, Veneer, the Good Knight. Thomas, give Tall, Dark, and Sickly free hit. Look, Thomas don't even has armor. Think you can defeat Thomas? You won't. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that and the music started playing. I thought I was actually going to get my ass beat. <laughs> Oh, man. I, I like this game. I mean, look at these little dudes. Average Call of Duty player. Oh, man. Good times. This is fucked? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But it's fucked in a good way. I have depression, anxiety. That's no good. I think I have dumb bitch disease. Killed his friend? I did. I'm a monster. Me too, Tolo. Must be contagious. You think you're gonna play other Bionicle games? I didn't even know there was a Bionicle game. Maybe. Alright. I forgot that this guy is. You know not this. What how I Bionic games? Well, new ones that are going to be released. I thought that was pretty apparent what I meant. You jeopardize the lives of innocents! Ah! <laughs> the new game plus scaling so whack. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, okay, this game's hard. Well, oh, hold on. You remember there's a, there's a heroic version of all the bosses. Like, that was that was easy mode. They, like... Um... I still want to see Tolo play Harry Potter. Remember this boss fight? Fuck you hard. It's so weird that there's, like, a, like a, a psychosis that a few people have of me playing this game. Maybe I did, and I've never realized it. Heroic version of the Frog Knight. There's, there's no. That would be sick if there was. You just getting gaslit? People seem to really think I played it, though. I'm not sure if it's like an intentionally gaslighting situation, right? Thank you, Heartless, for 63 months. Dumb bitch disease can be cured by eating Whataburger Dog. I'm gonna diet. I can't do that shit anymore. They told me they sent me to Fat Camp if I kept eating Whataburger. I don't want to go to Fat Camp, man. What am I gonna do with Fat Camp? Fucking hurt, dude. Uh oh. That's not what I meant to do. Oh. Why free? Dude, that shit was so funny. Good times. He was so mad, like, the entire time. Come on. Assume this was blasphemous when I first loaded the stream. Well, you know what they say about people who assume- Oh, shit! He actually got me. I've never been hit by that attack before. by this guy.
I love using that attack against her. It works really well, surprisingly. Ah, oh, come on. Thank you, Bunston, for the 34 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you for busy with school and working shit. I hope you've been good. I've been all right. Thanks for asking. Ah! Oh, my God. I need more heals. That sucks. That was very unfortunate they spawned the balls on top of me. Ah, okay. See, see, the original versions of the bosses are always really easy, but the heroic ones are, can, like... I feel like, like, there should really just be a thing that makes it to where you always fight heroic versions instead of having to fight the normal versions, which are always silly easy. I don't know, Chumpsy, I couldn't tell you. I, I could not tell you. It remains a mystery. Okay, we got him this time. That was just my, my warm-up. First boss in Eidolon? Yeah, I mean... I, I haven't played Eidolon in so long, dude. You just I feel like a terrible person. That's another game where I just got a bunch of people to play it and abandoned them. Terrible human beings, Luminos. Let him kill me and reset, honestly. Oh, like that. That was a fucking botched ass attempt. Played Eidolon for the Pachinko mini game, and that's it. Dude, my favorite thing about Eidolon, though, is I got so many people to play that game, and I don't think anyone managed to get a Megalodon. People really fucking hate that mini game. It's hilarious. <laughs> like, there's a fishing mini game that's really fucked up, and if you beat it, you get one of the best items in the game. Um, and it's really, really hard. Are you gonna play Maple Story with me? Never. Maple Story was interesting when I was like 13. What's going on, Tremor? But I'm like 14 now, so. Never. I would never play that. I almost got it. Couldn't get myself into Idol. Yeah, that's fair. It's not for everyone. I ended up. Like, I stopped playing it because I think the developer is. What's a diplomatic way of putting this? I don't like the way he prioritizes his updates, I guess. Um, I feel like he's spending too much time on shit that nobody cares about instead of like making the actual interesting parts of the game. Although I never played the party dungeon, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong on that. Oh my god. That's right, you guys are quite ferocious. Not cash money lazy. No, I wouldn't say lazy and greedy. I just he he's like wholly insistent on being a one man dev. Um, and I think that it, it got to the point where he really needed more hands on deck because the, the oh my god, the rate of content coming out was just really 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 fucking slow. Um, and thank you Dritzy for the 50 month resub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like, if you said one or two dudes to do some grunt work, I feel like that game would be a thousand times better. Ah, oh, Scott Beck, you're talking about me again? Nah. 
too egocentric. Not everything's about you, Torpedy Dorp. Everything's about me, man! God! Oh, wow. That was a good start. Tolo's the streamer? Well, I'm actually like a, like... I may be the streamer, but there's like 7,000 Discord streams now, too. Um, it's like a... It's like the Tolomeo Cinematic Universe. We had Joe play now. Uh, Fallout New Vegas or some shit for a while. People are like, man, this is my opportunity. Man, that was unfortunate. I'm not gonna get shit for damage on the knee. Bomber. Joe streaming TF2. That's where everyone is. Yeah. Put out a game in a long time. Thank you, Chumpsy, for the $10 donation. One of the devs this game was a friend of a friend. Never met him, though. That's cool. Thanks, dude. Just want to watch Jenna do her maple story. Christ. Jenna and maple story. What's the opposite of iconic? Corporal's games would be better if you put VTubers in them. Oh, Christ. Infamous? You can be infamous and iconic. They're not like mutually exclusive, right? Notorious trash? I don't know. Match, maybe off. Oh, oh, bad time to heal. Oh, mediocre, kind of classic. This pub mix is banging. Gross. Forgettable makes sense. Okay. Insignificant. Do you ever feel like you're just an insignificant little worm waiting to be eaten by a bird? And then to have it, like, chew you up and spit you into the mouth of its young? Birds? Birds are pretty tasty. Stop, I can only get Solar X, Rafa. Sorry for the yodeling. Dogs have a lot to say, I guess. Those little magic wizards are the worst part. Cool looking boss? Yeah. Too bad it just adds the fight, right? Uh oh. I will not suffer my father's fate. What's going on, Kid Proko? Sorry. I'm having a tough time with talking and playing this. I'm a stooge. Come on, asshole. Bend the knee, bitch. Okay, okay, that actually went... Re oh, that was going really well until that. Titan is proposing. He is... Once my chest hole. Who can blame him, right? Oh my god. Okay. 
lot of people shit on this game. Yeah, so apparently it was much worse on release and they've made it significantly better. Um, I've never played the original release, so I, like I said, I have no frame of reference for that, but... I think it's cool. I like it. Dude, I was so close, you motherfucker! Look at that. This is the worst kind of boss to only have a pit of health left, because it means you have to do this entire, like, hit him in the fucking shoe thing over again. You stupid bitch, look at that! Ah! Oh, you son of a fucker. This dude really no role in Dark Souls? I did. I did. Many, many years ago. I'm bad now. I've. My mental state has deteriorated. I'm considerably worse at everything now. Streaming, video gaming, being a human being, jacking off, um, running over small packs of children in an SUV. Do it for Elden Ring? No. Streaming has rotted your brain? Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Elden Ring crouch only run? Gross. I'm not super excited about Elden Ring. Because I don't, like, if I want to, if I was to stream that game, I would want to stream it normally. I don't want to run that fucking crazy-ass challenge bullshit. Like, I feel like I'm expected to do that, and it's not really worth playing it if I'm not going to do that. At least on stream, right? an unfortunate overlap of shit. Okay. I thank you, Recon, for the 59 months. I appreciate it. How are you, dude? No! He, he always... It's, it's like he knows. He always starts that attack right when I'm unable to do anything about it. This is a rough attempt so far. I don't think we're getting Goku today. Subvert expectations do a lore run? No. Fuck that. And the red dude is basically GG. Definitely recommend doubling down on moderation for Elden Ring first playthrough if you decide to stream it. He's going, how about you? I'm I'm existing. I can't wait to see people spoil the hermit crab boss that seals your armor for a shell whenever it kills you. Awesome. I'm gonna remember that, and if that exists in Elden Ring, you're going to be banned. So just remember that, Willen. Remember that I, I remember everything people say to me. So you better hope there's no hermit crab that takes your shit, because, uh... I'm gonna send you to the Bin Ban Penitentiary. I can remember worthless information like no one would believe.
death of a Roylin? Yeah. The Karoni cameo? Dude, that would... I think I would just, like, never play that. Like, I, I would completely ruin it. I hold a grudge for a lot of things. You, you've done a lot of shit. It's not just one thing, you know? You're a rabble rouser. I remember several instances of you doing dumb shit. Nice Atari game? Yeah, man. I was surprised it took this long for someone to complain about the game, actually. That's what? Like an hour, two hours? Impressive. Uh oh. I may as well restart. New record, I know. Try to do better? I don't know about that. Oh, that sucked. Okay. But it's not on the spot because of the funny anime girl Chuba Camille. Gross. I saw a Karoni game and then Bandit recommended me the Karoni game and I'm just like, you motherfucker, you really think I'm gonna play this shit? <laughs> like, you, you really think I'm gonna play a VTuber game? I would never do something like that. Not in a million, not in a million years. I was kidding, they always are. Everyone's just a comedian. You better fuck or not, dude. Fuck that. I think I'm gonna, like, I played one, but it was free. I'm not gonna pay money for a fucking YouTuber game. <laughs> Absolutely not. Actually, I think the other one might have been free, too. But I'm still not gonna play it. One is chew it never. GG, do this for the fight. <laughs> Christ Almighty. What's the purple bar? It's your your uh, ability stuff. Play the Corona Chan? What's the Corona Chan? I just gotta get it to line up. Need to, need to stop fucking dying to stupid shit. It's always the multi enemy fights that fuck me more than anything. Game of the dog girl thing? Dog girl thing, huh? How dare you refer to Karoni Chan as the dog girl? She's a queen! A literal queen! Yubi Yubi Queen? What the fuck is a Yubi Yubi? Fingers. What? <laughs> the dog girl steals her viewers' fingers. Okay. I not suffer my father's Why? Are her fingers not good enough? Ah. Unfortunate. Like I said. The second I press the button to overcommit, he's there. Is the necklace out of their bones? I got some fingers for her, if you know what I mean. Isn't she a dog? 
I'm doing weird shit with dog son. Unlucky. Strikes me more as a Halloween fan. I don't like VTubers at all. I've tried watching them to understand the appeal, and I have I have not liked a single one that I've watched. Um, but I'm also not someone who watches a lot of streamers or anything anyway, so that doesn't really say a lot. VTubers play video games? Yeah. Yeah. Get them eventually? Yeah. She takes their fingers so they can't leave the stream. We got some VTuberographers in here. Streamers, but with Japanese and anime picture. Yeah. Um, with the, the obnoxious ass voice thing, too. It's like my anime voice, but the entire stream. What a nightmare. They're weirdos. That's really the most uncomfortable part for me, too. What I've seen. Um, so like I said, I've watched a little bit, but the way people, like, act towards the VTubers is kind of disgusting to me. Um, I don't know. VTuber chats are fucking gross. Yeah. Is, wait, what the fuck? You take an extra hit? That's fucked up, dude. He was he was done, and he waited. I am not gonna be able to hit him at all. He decided to delay his uh, getting knocked down until reinforcements came. How fucked is that? <laughs> what a motherfucker. Culture is very cringe. Well, so it's not exclusive to, to VTubers either. I've talked about how one of the most uncomfortable feelings you can have on Twitch is when you're watching like a uh, like some streams that where the streamer is a chick are rough to watch. Not because of anything the chick is doing or not doing, just because people act so fucking weird around women. Um. Like, if you want a profoundly uncomfortable experience, watch a, like, a, a streamer who happens to be a woman who gets, like, ten viewers tops. <laughs> and it is, it is, um... I remember I watched a few when I, when I first started streaming in Bloodborne, and it was, um... It was losing them. Oh. That was exceedingly unlucky. Managed to get the spear lady, so it's all okay for now. Far is he into the game? This is New Game Plus. Oh god, she's coming again. Oh, I'm fucked. That's GG. Holy shit. Okay, I have no heals. What a nightmare. Streamer in my recommended name, Wet for Jesus. I'm Wet for Jesus. I feel like everyone is these days. Like, if you don't have Jesus, what do you have, right? G 
Jesus is a friend of mine? Yeah. You should, we should all have personal relationships with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Play the fishing game? Which one is the fishing game? I played a few fishing games. You get baptized, you'll not have a choice. Jesus Christ is my brother. Rather tell the genuinely insult me and have a streamer pander to me for donations. Some people will do both. You know? Oh god. I'm sure there's like a like a a dominatrix stream where it's like, oh you little pig babies. Give me give me five dollars and I'll be you all. Well, that has to be real. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is These are the most annoying enemy in the game. Uh, by a considerable margin. One with the lake in this shit? We beat that one though. There's no reason to keep playing it. Virtual hugs only from Dragon for Sonas. Oh god, man, I, I fucking forgot about the um whatchamafucket. What it the the weird furry who was um had two hundred and fifty and five hundred dollar patron tiers where you you get a free virtual hug and he would message you on Discord twice a day, which must be the worst Patreon perk of all time. Uh, two hundred and fifty dollars a month to have a weird furry message you twice a day. Like, good God, just fucking Christ Almighty! I feel like some people would pay two hundred and fifty to avoid that happening. But then again, I guess I guess if you look at it one way, it, you know, if like one of the VTubers had that shit, where it's like, Doki Doki Ichiban two hundred and fifty desu, Diabu. Uh, people would eat that shit up. So I don't know. Um, people would fucking go crazy. Like, they would pay probably 5000 to have Peroni message them twice a day. How have I had an event like that recently? That's not surprising. Slots would fill up so damn fast? Yeah. Yeah, they sure would. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> just, they stop streaming entirely and their, their entire way of uh, making currency is just messaging people. Gotta do my daily DMs a lot. I'm just leading to him about your personal life? You know he doesn't fucking care. Like, oh, okay, this is exactly how it would go. If you had the situation where it's like, okay, I'll give you... I, I, I'm gonna pay this guy, like, fucking $500 to listen, like, to message me or whatever. And you hit him up with actual problems, he'd be like... Oh man, I'm so sorry sending positive vibes your way, bro. Uh, just, just stay positive, man, and you'll get, you'll get through this. You know exactly what it's gonna be like. <laughs> it, it doesn't take a, a it doesn't take a, a a rocket nutritionist to see that one coming a mile away. That's crazy, man. Yeah, pretty much. And I mean, to be fair, like. You can't really, like, you're a streamer, right? Like, if someone messages me, I'm not gonna be able to fucking help them with anything. Um, like, what the fuck is Tolomeo going to do if you, if you, uh, if you message Tolomeo with your problems, you'd be like, oh, shit. Bummer. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't do anything about it. That's just, like, and I should, like, no one should expect me to either. Uh, same thing with every other streamer. Right? People who stream snipe women doing IRL streams, that's fucking weird. I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it is. What am I doing? Okay. Subscribers, so you have to be my therapist too? No thanks. Now I cheated on me with my brother? Well, you say that, but it's like... I believe it was Dirty Dan came into my chat and said something to the tune of my wife just left me poggers. And I think I laughed at him. Um, that was my response. So if you want to know like how good I am at being like an emotional support, that's you know, that's about what you get, right? Um You know. 
showed me the VOD of that? I feel bad, but it's also, like, really funny in retrospect. Someone said that to me. I would think they I totally thought he was joking. Because, like, who... Like, I, Dirty Dan's my boy. But who... Who says my wife broke up with me poggers? Like, that is a dystopian sentence. You know? That's like on the level of ketchup packet girlfriend. My wife? Truby, you don't have a wife. Say that. Oh wow, Jesus Christ, that dude just fucked me up. My wife bad, am I right, straights? Oh god, I didn't I didn't use the statue. Okay, that's a, that's quite a fucking trek back. Jesus Christ. Cool. Way better than feigned sympathy? Well it's not always feigned. Um like, if someone says something bad happened to him, like, I can sympathize with that. But at the same time, like, there's really not shit I can do about it. Um, that's why it's important to remember the streamers aren't friends. They're just idiots on the internet. I'm missing a Tenomino stream. Don't worry, you're not missing much, Papa Fap. What's up? Wives are a debuff anyways. That's not true. It's grim if nothing else. Divorces are sometimes necessary for life to move on, but something has truly gone wrong to be excited about it. I don't think he was actually pogging. I think he was just like, the sardonic poggers, you know what I mean? Saying poggers, when poggers is really not warranted at all. It's completely inappropriate to pog. Pog is a slur? I agree. Man, the internet has stolen so much from me. It's depressing. I was saying toxic positivity years before the internet did. I was saying poggers was a slur like days before other people were. I'm just, I'm truly a misunderstood genius. And I, I'm the only one who could possibly come up with things like that. It's just, it's maddening to see my work taken away from me like that. Came up with rats? I know, I invented dogs with eyebrows. Grandpa died poggers. Every time someone mentions like a grandparent dying, I think of the CWC picture where they, they're having their birthday at the funeral and the dead person is like open casket in the background and CWC's in the forefront throwing up the like the peace sign with a bunch of Lego sets. <laughs> That's gotta be like one of the best pictures ever fucking taken. Like, holy fuck, dude. I hope that if anyone goes to my funeral, they're, thro they're throwing, like, a birthday party or some other good event, and they have Lego sets out there. Bionicles in that pit? Yeah, 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 it's good. Someone should have a good time? Exactly. Like, Torpal in his Bionicle shoes at the funeral. That's still one of the funniest fucking stories I've ever heard. Remember when Pogs were just little pieces of cardboard with pop culture properties on them? I actually do. I remember I had some for Pokemons. Can't enjoy the CWC stuff anymore. That's fair, but it used to be pretty fucking funny. Um, these days, it's just mostly, mostly terrible. It's always been terrible, but it's a lot harder to laugh at it now. I slept through the entire pod fad. Good. I used to have Pokemon ones in the back of macaroni boxes. Dude, I still remember being force fed fucking um SpongeBob mac and cheese. Like, Kraft mac and cheese and the noodles were shaped like Spongebob's. Fuck, dude. What a living nightmare that was. That sounds good. No, trust me, it wasn't. Another usurper. A night or at my funeral? 
Hatsune Miku Leak Song Dubstep Skrill Rex Remix. Oh, weird shape. Macaroni is good. Boss, he looks cool. Look at that damage. Yeah. It feels like I'm being an inconvenience after I die. Yeah, like, if I ever die, I told I told Autumn and my sister, just throw me into, like, the fucking thing, you know? Like, throw me in the ocean. Like, who gives a shit? Um. Or maybe, like, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just, just fucking toss me in a ditch or something. Like, who cares? Funerals are whack. Okay, now we have to do heroic. Throw Tolo into an ocean so we can reincarnate as a merman? Yeah, dude. I want to be like... I want to be eaten by fish and have my nutrients turned into fish cum so I can help make the ocean saltier. You know? It's good for the environment. God damn it. Oh! Just throw me in the garbage? Yeah, exactly. Just saying that you don't want to have big funerals so you can get mad when no one schedules? How are you going to get mad when no one schedules your funeral? You're going to be dead. You think I'm going to be a fucking ghost or some shit? What you talking about, Willis? How am I going to get fucking mad that no one scheduled my funeral when I'm dead? Doesn't make a goddamn bit of sense. Not even one iota pirate idealist. But yes, that was the plan. This guy's kind of a motherfucker. I'm, I'm not even close to killing this dude, holy shit. Maybe I should start leveling up again. You don't get those little purple circles he just fucking neck owns you. Please stop spamming that fucking move. Oh my god. He's absolutely insisted on using one move and one move alone. Oh no. Is 
That was about the worst possible time to use that move. Damn it! Okay. 55 minutes remaining for Goku? Yeah, we're not we're not doing that. Die on my couch, drag it outside, soak with diesel, and toss a match, two problems with one stone. I need to make sure that I um I have more plumes. I rethought my funeral stuff recently. I used to not care, but now I want to start a family cemetery somewhere nice. That shit's fucking expensive, though. That's the problem. Um, desperate attempt to get people to stop overworking themselves. There's a desperate attempt for that. News to me. Cemeteries are so wasteful, in my opinion. Yeah, I could see it. This fight sucks with the spear because half of your your hits literally just go through them, like underneath them. This is not a, a very uh, good weapon for this fight. Oh wow, what the fuck? Oh, god damn it. I tried to do the, uh, my jumping move, but I, I guess I didn't have enough stamina for it. And I just sat there and blocked worthlessly. Oh, cool. Uh-oh. Okay, so this isn't going particularly well. I'm getting my ass beat by this guy. Rather, my ashes be turned into fertilizer over being buried in a cemetery. Yeah, I feel that. I agree with the idea that cemeteries are just wasteful and take too much fucking space and just, I don't know. I keep doing that. And it's not good. Okay, too bad you'll be dead and you'll never know. That's okay. Kneel before your true king. God damn, the range on that fucking spin. Oh, I thought for sure that was, that was gonna be a death. God, it is so hard to dodge through both parts of that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> this fight's rough. Uh, bury me and then plant a tree on my grave so I can be a tree. Cemeteries aren't that wasteful. They're useful plot devices in movies and books. Do coffins biodegrade? I doubt it, but I don't know. I don't know for a fact. I guess I'm not very uh, up-to-date on the latest coffinography. There. Uh, stop spamming that one. He's kind of a motherfucker, isn't he? Ah, that was a bummer. I need to stop randomly jumping for no fucking reason. Okay, burying people under trees is what the smart serial killers do. My favorite thing is when when people are like, "Yeah, dude, if you if you want to bury a body, just put like a dog on top of it, man." <laughs> like, there's 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 no way that can go wrong. They won't know what to do if they dig up a dog. The 
just a fucking dog buried, like, uh, dug up in the middle of nowhere. Gee, I wonder why there's a dog buried here. Yeah, that one's, like, next to fucking impossible without blocking, sadly. Yeah. I just need to block that attack. Um, that one's really hard. Think about it like that, a tree could be a gravestone almost. The metaphor by disposal is feeding it to pigs. Wanna kill a dog to do that? I don't know. I mean if you're gonna like if you're gonna kill a person, then is it really surprising you kill a dog? I know it's a, it's like haha dogs are better than people, but pretty much everyone would look down more on, on killing a person than a dog. Even even though I, I I'm one of those I like dogs more than people guys. I I, I don't legitimately believe that a dog is worth more than a person, you know? Even if my particular dogs are, are family to me. What the fuck? I think they're all the way over there, huh? Depends on the, it does. It does depend on the person, but for the most part. Okay. Wow, holy shit. Average dog is better than the average person. I don't know if I agree with that. Because a person has, has people who love them. They have families, hopes, dreams. Like, dogs are great. I love dogs, but... It's just not really comparable. The person and your dog were both drowning. Which one would you save? If it were my dog, I'd probably save Seth. But... Um... I don't know. Perceive society value that people are more important. Yeah. I like the stupid little T-Rex arms that this guy has down there. With his second pair. Retard humans should learn to swim. That's true. There are a lot of people who don't know how to swim, I found out. That's one of the things I learned about people from Twitch. It's like, way more people than you think don't know how to swim. Which was super surprising to me, but... Because in my mind, I can't imagine an existence where you don't know how to swim, but that's... That's reality for a lot of people. Some people live in, like, Iowa or whatever the fuck, and I guess they don't have, like, swimming pools haven't been invented over there yet. You know? It's a tragedy. There are pools here. I know, just whenever you uh, you ask why someone doesn't know how to swim, they say there's no reason to. Your true king. Which, I don't know. For, for me, a pool is a big enough reason. Um, but I guess not everybody feels that way. What the fuck? I am getting fucking dicked by this guy right now. Holy hell. Holy shit, finally. Non-swimmers in chat exposing themselves. This is completely subjective to me, and if I was in the same situation, I understand. I mean, it's childhood poverty or illness to probably get indicators of who knows how to swim and who doesn't. Proximity to, like, a lake or something. That's true. 
My parents took me to pools and shit all of the time when I was a kid. It was like a non-stop thing. I had so many ear infections from swimming all of the time. Like, I legitimately cannot hear very well in one of my ears because I, I had so many ear infections and it fucked it all up. Um, Which is a bit of a bummer, but, you know, it happens, I guess. The exact same way. Just a fat fuck and can't keep it. Dude, no, does it? Wait, 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 wait. Does it being fat help? I was under the impression that fat floats. You just gotta learn how to do it. I'll teach you, dude. I'm gonna. I learned a few things from my stream. Okay, so number one, I need. I need to start a Tolomeo school where I teach two things. Number one. How to shave your fucking nuts. Because apparently a lot of people in here have never really learned. I guess they haven't had a positive male influence in their life who have taught, taught them the proper way to shave their own nuts. Um, you know, I'm not judging. It happens. And then, and then, uh, the swimming thing. The swimming thing is also a big deal. I'll teach you how to swim and shave your nuts. Tolomeo School of Fine Arts. And I'll teach you that you can take baths. By showering and getting all of the dirt off, so you're not bathing in your own filth, and that's not that's not what baths are. It'll be good. It'll be. It, I'll be like, uh, y you know, I'll be the best. Where do I sign up uh, on my pay me tons? Okay, I have to do silly shit here. Give me a sec. <laughs> Sif. I don't recall asking for your opinion on this matter. What? Oh, it's because I still have the shadows. I didn't know that it counts for consumables. You an asshole shaver too? No, that's wrong. <clears throat> shave head with a razor. I could teach you how to get drunk off of Four Loco and, and, and shave y your head too. It'll be good. We'll have a lot of fun. Uh, Sif is in Dark Souls 1, Sif? Yeah. I have a lot of levels, dude. It's 1,800 to level up, and I have 246,000. How many levels could I get if I, if I wanted to just spam it? 20, 30, 40, 50... No thanks. Well, you never level up in anything. I don't want it to be too easy. I feel like I'm a good level. Oh god, that's right, this place sucks. I forgot about this miserable nightmare of a level. Oh fuck, oh fuck, okay, bye. Good level help? Nah, fuck that dude. Who wants to be able to take like a thousand, a thousand hits in a boss fight? Sif, shut up. No one cares. I'm busy right now. I'm gaming. Why level health when you can simply not get hit? Pretty much. I, I don't like having enough health to where it feels like you're crushing on it, right? Oh, God. Am I playing the dump stat that is not combat? I don't think there is one of those on this game. Sifaroni con carney, what are you doing? Oh, they don't have a save point here anymore. Okay. Why try when you can just not try? That's true. Not trying is my middle name, after all. Oh, oh this is a disaster. Too many fucking enemies to do that. I have nothing but dump stats. What's your favorite dump stat? Okay, this boss is a motherfucker. But he's got funny animations. And that's what matters, right? 
I think the best advice to not get hit in games is to learn just to just learn to not move. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Tundra Lord Karen. That, that fucking attack he does is so funny to me. I guess I'm easily amused. Oh, Christ. Okay. Favorite dump stat? The longest turret in the world? Gross. Nasty little boys talking about their poo-poos. Wow, dude. Six feet. That's pretty good. I think I could do better, though. How did that not count? What the fuck? fiber diet that person must have been in intense pain or discomfort i don't think so it probably felt really good why do you assume it hurt it was probably like the most uh, orgasmic moment of his life in actuality yeah, I mean, buffalo wild wings is a hell of a drug I like how the music just stopped. Was surprising. What a bad day to have eyes. The music's still going. Was just a quiet build up. 26 feet of phantom pain. I love if a woman crushes my solar plexus into dust. I gotta let Sif out. I'll be back. Oh.
God, we're still on this poop thing, huh? Okay. Can tell me good night. Okay. So we're still on this poop shit, huh? Oh. I have an unpopular poop opinion. I think diarrhea is the meta. I prefer it way more. It's fast and it's easy to clean up. Mm. I wish I had diarrhea all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, what? If I if I had a curse where it was diarrhea one hundred percent of the time, I would not have any problem with that whatsoever. Oh. It's not easier to clean up. It is, dude. It is. What the fuck is wrong? What? I disagree with that entirely. Whatever. Hello, Avin. Literally, a shit take. It is. You ever had it spray? No, I have a dignified butthole. It doesn't do that. Tolomia's wishing for IBS? I guess so. See, the worst thing you've ever- How is that the worst fucking thing I've ever said? Yeah, I want that, Balder. An actual unpopular opinion? Okay, okay, since we're talking about shit, let's talk about pretzel shits. Yeah, you're regretting talking about this now, aren't you, motherfuckers? It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's a type of shit where it's like, it happens to me most often after eating pretzels. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck that means, but it's like... I don't even know how to describe it. It's so hard to get rid of all of it, dude. Like, it takes like half a roll of toilet paper. It's thick and viscous and fucking awful and it's just a nightmare. And it sucks. And it pisses me off. Oh fuck, I've been parasited. What? See this lever? Click. You okay, should be. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we can we can t stop talking about that now. Is that Kraken? Ha ha! I don't know what the fuck a Kraken is. Okay, so let's get the fuck out of here. I'm just trying to speed rush the bosses. Greens coming in, man. Fuck vegetables. Fiber is a sham. People tell you to eat more fiber. It is fiber shills. I like how we've we've hit a point where, if anyone disagrees with you on the internet, they clearly are a shill. There's no other alternative. People don't have opinions that are different from yours unless they're being paid. That's the only logical explanation. Remember when I said I was reading conspiracy earlier? I saw that a lot there. It's like the fact they just literally cannot understand the possibility of people thinking differently. But they're incapable. It was almost impressive. What? That was a fucking impressive move. That went the opposite direction of your hand, brother. I hate that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, man, I have to kill this thing in a respectable amount of time. It's not happening, though.
What? How do I not have... Oh, dude, I'm so fucked. Nope. I actually got it. I had time. See, a fast metabolism at the time? Um... I don't know. Usually it takes like four to five hours after I eat something. I don't know if that's like, like better or worse than normal. I have to go get all the, the lights now. Bullshit, okay. There's some real good Reddit arguments out there. Hello in Memento Mori, what's up? I'm dying. You have to do like a thing here and get all these little fucking items with these various like assorted curses on your person. Okie dokie. Christ almighty. What game is this? It says in the, uh, the game description. Death's Gambit. Thank you for the raid. Majin, what's up, dude? Did you have a good stream? Is this Dark Souls? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I wonder if the news at least give Reddit gold or they pay an exposure. What the fuck are you talking about? Rouge like? I don't, dude. Dog, I'm fucking triggered. You're not the first. I'm fucking triggered. Dog. You, you did not just you say rouge like. Place in the sky. <laughs> like, come on, dude. What the fuck are you Let talking about? What the sports. hell is a rouge like? Oh uh, no, it's not a rogue like. It's a um one of those goddamn and Metroidvanias. Mind if I steal a kiss? Sorry, that's part of my pay me tons. I have to go to driving school right now. Do you have any tips for me? Okay, I have a good driving tip for you. Think of the dumbest motherfucker you've ever met in your entire goddamn life. It doesn't matter who they are. It could be me. It could be fucking anyone. Maybe it's your neighbor. Maybe it's the dog down the street. Maybe it's some random stupid fucking child. Just think of the dumbest person you've ever had the displeasure of exchanging words with right now. They can drive. They have a license. Almost 99% of the time, the dumbest people on God's green earth can all drive. So if you fail, what does that make you? Food for thought. But no, basically, it's not that big of a deal. Don't stress out over it. Everyone can pass it. Like, it's... It, you'll be fine. Just don't get too nervous. Don't get in your own head. That's pretty much the only way you can fail. Unless the person at the DMV fucking hates you. <laughs> like... Uh... Majin, have you seen that disclaimer video that he made? It's a hoot and a holler. <laughs> One of my favorite YouTube videos ever. Um, oh, fuck. Okay. No, I haven't. I'm going to have to link that to you, dude. That shit is, is fucking Your funny. I know you'll love it. infinitesimal within the vastness of our universe. This dude sounds like he's... He's trying to work ASMR. Do you truly believe I sped during mine and rolled through a stop sign. So fast. I completely failed the parallel parking segment of mine, and I passed. So. If only you could see fully pass people darkness. on whether or not they like you. Yeah, there, sometimes you'll get someone who's just up their own ass. Like some, some dumb old bitch who's just going to fail you because she feels bad on that particular day. Or some dumb old dude. Um, it's government workers, right? Like... <laughs> You're always you're always gonna get that shit with the government. So basically, what I'm saying is, there's no way you could ever fail. It's not your fault. No matter what happens, it's the government workers' fault. Because this is America. Best salt in sanctuary, like you motherfucker. Salt and Sanctuary pisses me off on a level that I can... Salt and Sanctuary is one of my least favorite games.
Attack and jump seems legit. It's actually got such a, a shitty range on it. What's going on, Loyola? Uh-oh. Fuck it up. Screw the pooch. driving test i literally just had to drive for five minutes and park on an empty street easy oh shit i should probably pay attention to what's going on in the game huh okay what's going on lanko i beat neo 2 today and i gotta say it was pretty funny and neo 2 is awesome um, it's crazy to me that there's a world where people will will it's in in the same breath to this. say something like neo 2 is bad and then say my favorite souls like is lords of the fallen <laughs> like, that shit is insane to me, dude. Oh, I thought you were done. There's no accounting for taste, I guess, right? Neo 2 is extremely good. It really is. Neo 2 is awesome. Souls community planned events around Mortal Shell. But dog, dog, Mortal Shell paid people to play. That's the thing about Mortal Shell. I saw so many people doing like sponsored Mortal Shell streams. They'll play anything if they get paid. Um, how is this possible? That's a stream of life. That's just how it goes, right? Be gone. Remember Evo Hell? I do. I do. Souls fucks are the bronies of action RPGs. I don't see that many people. Yeah, like, I mean, it just makes sense. New Souls like game comes out. Here's some dollars. Play this shit. I've never played Mortal Shell. Maybe it's amazing. Um, I have no idea. I haven't even, I haven't even watched that shit. Like, I have no idea what Mortal Shell is even like. Um, don't have the faintest fucking clue. It looked mega ass. Well. Apparently, at one point, this game was considered to be, like, complete profound dog shit. But, like, in the last month or so, they did a pretty big update. And I saw it, and I saw that everyone was saying it was really good now, so I played it. Um, and I like this game well enough. Souls like, so I don't know what that is. I go outside? Yeah, that's entirely fair. Mortal Shell is Mega Blocks if Lords of the Fallen is Lego. Dog, I know you did not just compare Lords of the Fallen to Lego. Jesus Christ. Every day my torment grows. What the fuck? Okay. You can't fix Mortal Shell as a thing? Why? What's wrong with it? It's the level of Mortal Shell. I get what he's saying, just comparing Lords of the Fallen to something that's commonly associated to be a standard of quality rubs me... It's like fucking sandpaper dick in me, you know? Lords of the Fallen was fucking... It was better than The Surge, but it was very, very tough. Um... It was very rough. Hollow Souls like tier list when? I don't know, I haven't played enough of them. Looks fucking great in comparison. What's the consensus on The Surge series? So, I think the first Surge is terrible, but the second one is serviceable. It's not that bad. Um, I still don't... I'm, I'm not gonna go and sing the praises of the Surge too, but it's a market improvement from the first one, which is good, because I think the first Surge game was worse than Lords of the Fallen, which was their previous game. So, it was impressive that they managed to make a, a game commonly considered to be really bad worse. Um, but that is just like my opinion, man. I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of those Deck 13 games in general, but the Surge 2 was alright. Maybe, like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a, a, I'd say around the same level of quality as Code Vein, maybe. If you've ever seen that fucking nightmare. But without anime titties. Are you a 100 Gex fan? No. 
Heard of Priest Simulator. I've seen it. It looks like it doesn't have anything to it. Like, there's not a lot of content going on in it, right? Isn't it early access? flying fish that are actually rabbits. I don't know if you know this about me, but I really don't like rabbits. I am a, I am a rabbit hater. I actually really like Code Vein. See, Code Vein had good enough bosses for the most part, but the thing with Code Vein is half of the levels were like nightmare cock and ball torture slogs. Like the level that's literally just, hey asshole, it's a normal generic cityscape, except it's covered in fucking fire. And you can't see anything. Or or the cathedral. <laughs> Everyone who's played that game has fond memories of the cathedral, right? The levels in that game were fucking terrible. See look, you can pet the doggy. Isn't isn't that nice? Explain your hatred? I, I think I explained it reasonably well. What what part do you need elaboration on? Dog and attack it, yeah. I never claim to be nice. I'm, I'm not a wholesome Keanu Chunker. Would you willingly play test based RPGs like Disco? Okay, so Disco and Planescape Torment are games that I want to play quote unquote one day, right? Um, the problem is, I would never stream them because text based games are so fucking hard to make entertaining to watch. Like, I have a t hard enough time with games that actually have gameplay, right? <laughs> like, so, a game where the entire body of it is just reading is like... That's a hard game to make work well in it for a stream. It really is. Like, if I was going to do a stream like that where the entire body of it was just me reading text, I would read some degenerate, like, Gaia Online fanfiction instead, I think. I think that would not ironically be better. Um... Off stream? Yeah, I probably would. I don't mind reading a lot in games, I really don't. I know Haha -ha Texan can't read LOL. But Morrowind has a fuck ton of reading, and I love that game. It's like my favorite game. Now, you can play it without reading, but I've read a lot of the books and stuff in that game and all of the lore. Mm. Doki Doki literature chads. I don't like that phrase at all. It's a lot of reading, but it's still very engaging. I've heard people describe Disco as like the best RPG ever made. People are very big fans of that game. I personally think the best RPG ever made is Boxy Quest, but you know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you can't account for taste. No, I'm just kidding. I actually haven't played Boxy Quest, although I kind of want to. I feel like people wouldn't really like. People would probably get really mad at me if I played that now. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not sure I'm willing to uh to do it. But it, it's a funny idea. That's what matters, right? Oh, fuck, dude. Where do I go here? I think I know. Maybe. Morrowind is a great example of a song game to have an exhausting amount of things for you to experience. Well, the S games, it probably has the best world building. I don't know, man. When you play Skyrim and the giant hits you and knocks you to the moon, it just... It's a crystallizing moment. What do we want Kingsfield for next week? I want to play it. Um, I want to play Blade of Darkness, too. Do you find it weird that the only main Elder Scrolls hero to not attain the Augment Infinium is the Nerevar? I've, I honestly have never thought of it. I, I try to keep thinking to an absolute minimum. As a general rule of thumb. Hello, Castly. 
I'm OB the commander. On popular opinion that I greatly prefer cutscenes over dialogue. Mm, it depends. There's some games that do some really fucking good cutscenes. Then there are other games where it's like, oh god, please can this just be fucking over? I really don't wanna. Like, one of my least favorite things in video games these days is when you start a new game. And there's like seven hours of cutscenes before you get to anything even remotely resembling gameplay. I didn't used to mind that so much. But now? Fuck me, dude. At least... I don't know. Because with dialogue, I can at least speed read it, right? Add an enemy that all cutscenes should be skippable. Well, even if it... So, okay, feel me on this. If you have a game where you're only mo you're moderately interested in going uh, uh, what's going on, you don't want it you don't want to like completely skip out on the lore of the story or the dialogue or whatever. If you have a cutscene, you have to watch the entire fucking thing. Um, there's no speeding up. It's either you watch it all or you skip it. With text, you can scroll through it and read all of it in thirty seconds, forty seconds, right? Um, the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. So I, I definitely prefer dialogue most of the time. Ah, this is—he's well beyond that. My cutscenes of the presentation Here's direction is really good. Yeah, the cutscenes can be awesome, but I feel like a lot of the time cutscenes are just like, holy here. shit, this is dragging on. Come on, this dude. Oh. Love the Batman boss. Okay. Monster World cutscenes. Dude, Monster Hunter World might have the worst cutscenes of any game ever made. Out of the ones that I've played, at least. It, it's actually impressively awful. I fucked up. I don't have the forbidden key yet. Um, the cutscenes legitimately are an active detriment to the game. If, and if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, because I, I don't think Majin Suite has played Monster Hunter World, for example. Now, I love Monster Hunter, but imagine this shit. You want to, it's a game that's mostly, like, the entire point is you want to play monster, you want to hunt monsters with your homies. You want to, you want to group up with people, you want to play multiplayer. That's a huge part of the game, right? So imagine this. And order to play co-op in that game every time you fight a new monster there's a cutscene introducing the monster right now imagine this you can't join a player's quest you can't play with them until they've seen the cutscene so if you have a situation where you're two new players and you want to go through the game together, both of you have to start your own individual quest, go through, find the monster, watch the cutscene, then one of you has to leave and then join the other player's game for every monster that's a new monster. It might be one of the most retarded systems I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> like, it is such a fucking rough time. That's why I would never play that game with people who are new at this point. Um, just because the amount of time you have to sit there and wait for them to find the fucking monster, which if they're a new player will take forever, 10, 15 minutes maybe, sometimes, sometimes it's faster, but it can take a long time as the play. So I, I just, I get really fucking pissed when games just like to waste excessive amounts of time on stupid shit. Um, I like the ability to just play the game at this point. And that's one thing I fucking love about Dark Souls and from Soft Games is if I play Bloodborne, I don't have to go through like a tutorial and seven fucking years of cutscenes and dialogue. I can just play the goddamn game. Um, I think that is a contributing factor to why people love those games so much and replay them all of the time. 
Because if you ever wanted to play like a JRPG again, like a JRPG you like, let's say Final Fantasy X or Xenoblade or whatever the fuck, but then you think of how many like cutscenes you're gonna have to watch at the beginning of the game to get to the point where you're actually playing it again. It's a bummer. Thank you, Lamar, for 36 month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. And some people are okay with that, but at this point, it just pisses me off so much. Another thing I like about Morrowind. You get off the boat, and you do whatever you want. You don't have to waste time, you know, going through a sewer. You don't have to waste time uh, being trotted on out to get executed and go through the little dragon thing. Enchanted arms every fucking time. All PS4 exclusives will be on PC. I'm exploding. Why is that, Bruin Earth? What's wrong? You're like one, but that just in my be I would. I think I, I missed the event over here where she gives me the key. I sure did. With JRPGs would make the intro shit faster, makes it hard to get into one of my opinion. I think that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm sort of hesitant to pull the trigger on SMTV. I really want to play that game, but I... I want to play the game, you know? I'm not sure, like, how much time I need to set aside to get through the beginning bullshit, if there's a lot of it. Stragglers um, are being hunted. You know. The king will continue. They're heroes. How the standard has fallen. King Val Once I get into it, it's fine. Sorry, but but just wanting to start moving. something. It's not really a whole lot of story. Thank Christ. In to skip any cutscenes or fast forward text. It being said, the start is a little slow. Wow. It feels like both Monday and Friday at the same time. I don't know what to do. Drugs. The sewers. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Gonna stream it? No, I don't think so. I don't have or do drugs. You should. May the remnant. Talk about JRPGs making me want to play Final Fantasy 15 for the fourth time. Tall women in armor give me big cums. Oh, man. Just like math, Dark Souls always stays in your system for up to 24 hours. Good thing I haven't played that shit on a regular basis since 2017 then, huh? I still can't believe the first thing that happened on stream today is I started up and someone's like, the, someone popped in and it's like, this is this person's first time talking in the chat, and like, so you're gonna play any Dark Souls? I'm never going to get away from it. <laughs> I'm never going to escape it, dude. Oh, man. What's going on, Zadok? The rare Tolomeo YouTube viewer? I know, and I felt kind of bad because it's like... They must really like me if they've waited four years. <laughs> you know, like, if they probably like me more than any of you guys do. Uh, <laughs> if, if, they're, if they're, they've got nothing for four years and they're just holding on hope. <laughs> but, like, I just don't want to play Dark Souls, you know? Um, can you imagine? Like, I know, I know that I don't, I don't stream a fuck ton, but can you imagine if I just dip for four years and you're like, hey, where's Tolomeo, man? Mm. This shit is funny. Oh man, retirement is going. Yeah, no, no shit. I'm gonna be on my deathbed. There's gonna be a little machine going beep, 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 beep. And then it'd be like, Tolomeo, are you gonna play Dark Souls? Beep. And that's gonna be the last thing that I experience in this life. I've made my peace with it. There's no other way it can end. <laughs> so is that a no? Yeah. Oh man. And it's bad because it's like I don't, I don't, I, like I'm not mad about that or anything. Like I don't, I don't think like like ill of people who say that. It's just like holy shit. Um. 
I think this is mandatory. We have to listen to this dude's shit. Oh, you're not even gonna do a challenge run, Elders Elden Ring Shadow Tower 7? Nice soul stream on YouTube. I hit that like button, that subscribe button. I ran that little bell and fall and pissed myself in anticipation for the next one. What's the next one? Kyle Dark Souls. Man, I would be so pissed if people called me Kyle Dark Souls. Holy shit. I think that would put me on watch, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Koala Bear, for the 61 3 sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you? Kyle Dark Souls. Dude, that's so bad. Fuck. Just kill me. Kyle Dark Souls. No. No. Oh. Christ. I hate the fact that my name's fucking Kyle. Kyle Dark Souls is a Star Wars character. Oh, see? Yeah. I wish we could all watch Rise of Skywalker together on stream. Great, how's you? I'm making my way downtown, you know? I I have no outstanding complaints, I suppose. Let's do it and accept the ban. You wanna see something fucked up? We can steal these these little dudes, you see they're like we're trying to reach rare item. Stupid sons of bitches. I think these dudes are really cute, though. They're like little fucking Barney babies. Not watching the sequel trilogy of Star Wars? Dude. Okay, so I'm not particularly picky with movies and shows and stuff. Um, I can watch, like, bad movies and, and get enjoyment out of it, right? Within reason. But even I was just like, holy shit, what the fuck is this when I was watching the last Star Wars movie? <laughs> it was... I, I really didn't like it much. Um, And I thought... I, and I'm one of the people that doesn't mind the prequels. But that also is probably because I watched the prequels with my dad when I was a kid. So I have like a nostalgia soft spot for them. Um... I would never, like, go and say they're good movies, but I, I like them. Star Wars? Okay, 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 okay. So, check this shit out. You can talk shit on Star Wars. You can say Obi-Wan Kenobi is, like, some, some dumbass character and it doesn't make sense. You can talk shit on Baby Yoda. Any of that, right? But the one thing you cannot talk shit on is Star Wars video games. Star Wars video games back in the N64 era were the shit. Fucking pod racing. And then and then we got Battlefront and Battlefront 2, where you could play as the Ewoks and just massacre people by throwing rocks at them. It was so fucking fun, dude. And I've heard I've heard Knights of the Old Republic was also amazing. Like Star Wars games were the shit. Um, whether you like the movies or not. Uh I fucking love Battlefront 2, dude. <laughs> Battlefront 2. I have so many good memories of that. I remember when we, we started playing again, and we, it was this stream versus Cry's stream in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the good one, the old one. And there's a scenario in Battlefront 2, if you're not familiar, where it's a, it's a mode where one, it's, it's like, it's like ethnic cleansing mode. I don't remember the actual name of it, but you'll play as like the indigenous species of a planet, right? Like the Ewoks versus the Stormtroopers. And there's one where you do it on Hoth, and you're the Wampas. They're big Sasquatches, and their normal moves are like Jedi moves. They're insane. They're overpowered. Like, God, okay, let me think about this. Okay, imagine 40 of us versus 40 Mike Tysons. Do you think we would win? Fuck no. It's impossible. We would, we would be dicked by, like, two Mike Tysons. There's no way. And we played against Cry, and they lost is the Wampas. 
It was it was such a blowout that they got they lost is the Wampas. It was fucking unbelievable. I had never been so proud of my stream in my life. They actually like that has to have been the first time it's ever happened. <laughs> like it's just so hard to lose is the Wampas. It was great. It was it was good. Honestly embarrassing. How broken the Wampas are, I think it really is the first No, not ironically. But the Gungans. Dude, the Gungans piss me off. The Gungans are such motherfuckers. Got pissed over Rogue putting you on Christ stream. I know, dude. I was like, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be me and my viewers versus Cry and his, and we're we're gonna we're gonna fucking you know, we, it's a grudge match. We gotta fuck them up. You know, they get they ban us for Ratapillars. Um, they say they say I'm like a complete piece of shit with no redeeming qualities. We're gonna completely fuck them in the mouth. Like this is going to be absolute dick down. I was I literally told Recon Crimson, hey, get some dudes and make sure like you guys know what you're doing. Like you need to you need to fucking do scrims and shit. We because if we lose this, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. And we came in prepared. There's this one where it's Moss Eisley. And the only thing you can play are Jedi's and Sith. The only lightsaber dudes, basically. And they figured out that the meta was to just pick Yoda. Because Yoda's so fucking small and his force pull's ridiculous. And so, Cry's fucking team loads into the game. It's like, dun 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 Against 40 Yodas. It was the fucking Yoda slaughter. It was the funniest shit in the world. And Rogue Dark Jedi was hosting the server and he put me on cry's team so i got fucked too by the rats i didn't even get to en enjoy it because i was right there with cry getting the dick down black.com live jasmine i was getting completely owned it was depressing <laughs> it was so sad dude oh man battlefront 2005 of course i am of course i am I would never play the new ones. Hmm. I'm distinctly racist against new games. I don't... I don't know, dude. Rogue's a gem like Giselle to me. Or Rogue's a good dude. I like Rogue, but at that... I was frustrated with him at that particular moment in time. Even though it was funny. It's one of those things where I was frustrated, but everyone else found it funny, so I have to suck it up and, you know, stop, stop going. Wham! Right? Observation. Directive. Listen, by search. Woo, woo, woo. They look good, but fuck EA, I agree. Caution. People still talk about that pride and accomplishment thing. Like the GTA remasters. The new Battlefield 2 is an Ewok mode that is fucking hilarious. Won't forget when you popped in voice chat and we were all screaming and laughing. Reads like a copy pass. I remember one of the funniest fucking copy passes I've ever seen was one talking about like a Lobos Junior Challenge run. And they, he was like, me and all of my friends were watching you in the table, like like uh, at, at the living room table. And when you, when you won, we all started screaming and cheering and hugging each other. And I'm like, man, dude. I wish people would hug each other over my streets. <laughs> like, fuck. Rouge was one of the. Okay, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. All right. I am not going to stand for people in my chat saying Rouge when they really mean Rogue. That's no. I hope this is a reference to the time where I told you deliberately to call him that because it would piss him off. Like, this is ridiculous. Rogue the Bat. I remember getting so... Like, okay, so the two things that really, really fucking piss me off are Rogue and Rouge, and when people say could care less instead of couldn't care less. It's maddening. The only one that called him Rouge when you said that? You're a good man, Sushi. Should have instead of should have. I feel like like that one is is 
silly too, but it's significantly less silly than could care less. All intensive purposes, taking it for granted. I start saying some of them just because I think they're better. Like, you know, you know how people say dog eat dog world? I like doggy dog world way better. Like, I think it's, I, I think it's good. sense of running past literally everything. A doggy dog world seems so much happier than doggy dog. Yeah. Thought it was doggy dog world for you as you would, me, Coco. So lost in this level my first time. I really like this level. I can really with that. Jesus. Doggy dog world is legit. I'm glad you think so. The worst part about this level is finding the four switches to get into the vault. This shit took me forever. I had to look one up because I'm a pussy, a baby gamer. Can I ask you a question? Um, what else annoys me when it comes to that sort of thing? I, I'm not sure. People saying literally when they mean figuratively. I'm really bad at that one. I I use literally as as a synonym for figuratively all the time. Doing one for like you're saying it depreciated instead of deprecated. Your new game plus on Everhood? I don't think so. Literally all the time? Yeah. I'm like a valley girl. Ugliest fucking valley girl the world's ever seen. I never really watched you play this entire game, so it would pass out a lot. That's good because this is the first time I've played it. I, I find this group psychosis super fascinating. So many people are talking about how they watched me play this game, and I've never played it on stream until tonight. I can't tell if it's a yoke or if you guys legitimately think that I've, I've played this a ton. New game plus even mean is that just new game but harder? Remember Blasphemous? Blasphemous was interesting. Are you sure you've never streamed it? Dude, I didn't even own the game until a week ago. <laughs> like, come on. I... So, alright. I remember comments you guys make from like years and years and years and years and years ago. I remember things that Jenny Yu has said, that Majin Sweet has said, that Misa Koko has said. Why is it such a reach that if I can remember these sorts of things, that I can remember what fucking games I've played? <laughs> like, I don't understand it. I don't know why this is like such a fucking constant thing. The muzzle seared in his. Pretty sure you played this before. I'm gonna cry. Try play. And speed running souls? Oh my god. Is Tolomeo rerunning bots? I was literally talking earlier about how there's gotta be a serial killer who does like uh, pre recorded Twitch bots, and that could be the alibi. You know? Maybe this is pre recorded and I'm out there killing people right now, you know? First one down. Like it's got the old ways head Out faith. donkey punching peas? Well, yeah. Whoa. Man, one thing I've said, once upon a time we were discussing aquariums and you were talking about, I forget the specific name for it, but you were talking about the method of filtration in aquariums that requires no active filter. You could just kind of leave it there and the plants and the, the natural, like, uh, what, what is the word? environment of the tank can sustain itself without having to clean into water changes and shit, right? Oh, fuck. Nitrogen cycle stuff? Yeah. And shit, 
Shit is hard to keep balanced. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck with it. I document every game you play and write reviews about them based on first impression I get from watching it. No, you don't. No one's ever done that. Well, instead, that's what it was. Hey, asshole. Just remind me I get to change like 10 gallons of water out of my tank. If you do become a suspect and that is your only wallaby, they'll probably watch the stream that day to see if it does actually confirm you were there. It's true. I like I like how you said wallaby instead of alibi. That's that's what it is in Australia, right? Fucking Australian, not even once, dude. Oh, oh, holy shit, that damage. That's legitimately a one-shot. Wow. Okay. Whopped? Yeah, I got fucking triple meat, triple cheese. Okay. Bulk up enough and begin my career as the next Hulk Hogan? I need to get ripped, dude. Wasn't even a typo. No, Truby. Truby's a strange little egg. I like Truby a lot. Truby's one of my favorites. Dibs on fucking your wife? You can't call dibs on fucking people's wives. That's not how it works, brother. Seen the internet to Lomeo? Oh, yeah, okay. What's going on, Seth? Jokes on Truby? Tolo doesn't have a wife. Have you heard of Prime Nocta? Nope. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. No kangaroos choke out and drown dogs? Yeah. I remember one of the most heroic videos I've ever seen in my life was they had a video of a kangaroo who had a man's dog in a chokehold and it was it wasn't it wasn't really like hurting the dog but it just had it in its arms and the dude presumably the dog's owner goes up and just fucking punches the kangaroo in the mouth like right in his stupid fucking face and the kangaroo had no idea how to react he was just he was flummoxed he was dumbfounded that someone actually went up and just punched him in the face and he let the dog go <laughs> you know what? Fair enough, bro. It was a masterpiece. Definitely one of the best videos ever made. Dogless monster? Yeah, it kind of does. What's good, chump cum? Kangaroo just wanted to hung the little pup Reno, but didn't know its own strength. The kangaroo didn't let go of the dog. It would have ripped into the dog's stomach. Kangaroos are fucked up. I believe it. Australia is a fucked up place. Like, imagine a place where you have kangaroos, venomous snakes, and papadat. And Cashley. And me and Kooky. What's going on, Floria Knight? How are you, dude? Mm -mm -mm. Truly horrifying? Yeah. Uh oh. Little man on the mountain is after me. Said venomous snakes and then listed more venomous snakes. David lives there, too? I like this. Most of the time. He's a good egg. 
examples about made up words existing they're real? Yeah, like Billabong. Shit's fucking weird. Australia like the new game plus of Earth? I don't know, but I do know that Texas is basically casual Australia. Death. Nope. What, clerk? I can't. Shut up, asshole. Australia light? Yeah. Basically. Australia's just ranked. Texas ranked, huh? Oh no, I'm being I'm being fucked up. You know dudes wanna molest me. So it feels like Texas to be a 99 insight to spend. Dude, I, I'm... Whenever I think of the insight mechanic in Bloodborne, I remember the time I made a fool out of myself in another streamer's chat because there was some dumb fucking idiot who didn't know what he was talking about but was apparently, like, a well-respected member of that community talking about how, like, in Bloodborne, like, bosses get different moves and patterns and they're, if, if you have more insight and they're way easier if you fight them with low insight. So if you see, like, a... A kill with low insight that is basically invalid. I told him, hey, you're fucking stupid and you don't know what you're talking about. You should shut the fuck up. And apparently that wasn't, like, a good thing to say. Um, he got really mad at me. I mean, we had, like, a fucking retard internet slap fight. Um, and I felt bad <laughs> because the, the fucking streamer didn't know what to do because I'm sitting there just, like, fucking trying to play this guy alive over Stupid Souls bullshit. And... He's just, he's like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, man. Remember people saying that it was annoying? Back in the good old days? Yeah. I remember going into Riskum's chat too way back in the day and doing something similar. So I just, I don't go into chats often these days because I just have a tendency to start shit. Like, I, I, I have difficulty just letting letting things like that go. I'm a fucking idiot who has to get into internet slap fights. Only witches. Yeah, it's funny because I don't think people knew about the witches thing back then. But there was one fight that did actually have a, a weird fucking bug going around with inside. I mean, he's wrong, sure, but that doesn't mean you have to, you know, derail a chat and, and you know, be an asshole, right? Fan of the Pokemon series. So, I have a complicated relationship with Pokemon. Um, not really. It's not that complicated. I like Pokemon at its core, I, but I, I hate how, how, uh... The games just treat you like you're a complete fucking ninny that can't do anything, and they're too easy. Um, I get that Pokemon... I, I understand that Pokemon has never been a series that's been about challenge, or is supposed to be difficult, or anything like that, right? But I just don't find games that easy to be fun these days. Um... Like, games that aren't combat-focused can be as easy as, as they want. But in a game where the entire point is, like, getting a team, teaching them the right moves, fighting other people, it feels really shitty to have that much depth to something that's so fucking easy, you know? I played a ROM hack of Pokemon that was a lot of fun. Um, I would I would definitely go back if they added, like, a, like a legitimate hard mode or some way of making the games not... Um, a complete slog. There's, there's really no save point for this boss. Jesus Christ, what am I? Uh-oh. Alright, this is gonna hurt. I mean, a legal version of it. Oh, fuck. Fucking push out there. Pokemon Rock Maxine is fairly big for this exact reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not alone in it. Let's just stop. It just feels like you may as well play as a team. Um, I'm, do you like SMT Maj? That feels like it, like a U game. Rise. 
Fuck, I completely whiffed like an asshole. What's wrong with me? I'm so used to the, the heroic version of this fight is one of the hardest in the game. Um, this fight is completely fucked on heroic. Very easy on normal ball. People keep asking me to try. I've been playing various Final Fantasy games lately and shitting all over them. Which ones have you been shitting on? I don't think Game Freak like know how to make a good game. I don't. I don't think that's fair. I think the games are still good. I think people just are rightfully upset that Pokemon is like one of the biggest franchises in the entire entire fucking world, and they just have bare minimum effort put into their games. You know, six, seven, twelve, and thirteen. Sorry. Okay, so I have one of the worst gaming opinions. Are you ready? Out of Final Fantasy 6, 7, 12, and 13, I not ironically think 13 is the best. Oh. Death has been so close to your blood. Oh, I agree with you too. There is a it reason sucks, but it's literally better. That's a hot take. Yeah, it's a very hot take. Like a People really don't like that opinion. Um, let's fucked up Zoomer talk. No. Zoomers haven't played any of those games. 13-2, I, I didn't like 13-2, actually. I didn't even play Lightning Returns. Final Fantasy 13 was the first... Dude, I, I think 10 is the best, though. Um, I tried Final Fantasy 7 and the combat bored me to death. Lightning Returns had cute outfits. That's exactly what I look for in a video game. Kawaii outfits. 20 hours in, the only thing I don't like is the music. That's a shame, because the music in those games is usually really good. How have you been, Ham Hands? I am, I am very much looking forward to playing that game. Probably tomorrow. 9 and 10. I love 9. Um, 9 was awesome, too. Usually pretty good, but this one isn't doing it for me, sadly. Bummer. 13 isn't mind-blowing. So... 13 is like one of like 13 is basically you can tell 13 is the prequel to final fantasy 14 because you need to spend like you know countless hours of your life to get to the good part right um my favorite thing in those games is probably not what most people seek out like the my my reason that i like 10 the most is i really like the end game having there be so much shit to do um, and I understand that 13's very linear, and that a lot of the main game is a slug, but the end game's legitimately pretty fucking fun, and I like it a lot. Um, and when people talk about the game just being, like, press X to win, I, it's an immediate tell that they haven't played the end game of that, uh, particular game. Because that, that is true for a lot of the main game, but the end game actually has a lot going on. Um, and I enjoyed it a lot. It's like all of the JRPGs that I enjoy the most tend to have very robust endgame uh, content. Like Xenoblade is another good example. It's pretty hypocritical when that applies to most Final Fantasy games. Shh. You're not supposed to say that, dog. Spam death with Vanille and reload. To be fair, the main game of JRPGs doesn't have to be brain dead easy. No, I agree. Absolutely. And it's kind of fucking annoying that it usually ends up being the case, right? Now, I'm going to say something nice about Dark Souls, so get ready. I don't. I really like Dark Souls, obviously, but I, I, I'm so glad Dark Souls exists because I think that was the point where a lot of developers realized we can, we have permission to make our games hard again. Because I remember before those games got popular, a lot of Western devs in particular had like an extreme aversion to making anything even remotely approaching challenging. Um, and Dark Souls kind of ushered in a, a resurgence of, of game devs saying, hey, you know what? People actually like hard stuff. Oh, and I'm, I'm grateful that that happened. Good old game journalism, yeah. 
Yeah, it was really bad for a while. This library contains nameless to the world. Do you know what possessed me? Oh. Nah, but do you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No one cares. No one asks. Go away. Souls can't do that. Yes, but nobody gave a fuck about Demon Souls. Um, Demon Souls was the cult classic. Dark Souls is really when those games started getting popular. Like I played Demon Souls on the PS Triple. Don't get me wrong. But back then, nobody knew what the fuck those games were. There's a reason why things are always compared to Dark Souls and not Demon Souls, right? Or Bloodborne, or, or whatever. It's because Dark Souls is the one that everyone got started on. Demon's Holiday Event sure were a surprise. Rouge lights were already difficult before the Souls games. Rouge lights, huh? I can't tell if you're doing this to fuck with me now, or, or if you legitimately don't know Rogue versus Rouge. Within the not for people and in. So I think Dark Souls is carried by nostalgia solely for that fact. To a degree. I think people give Dark Souls one, uh. I can't even say they give it too much slack, because that game's genuinely really good. It has some bad parts, but, you know, so does every game. Um, I think it's more that people are overly critical of the other ones, where they are not critical of Dark Souls. You know? They do not, they do not uh, apply the same broad criticisms with Dark Souls 1 that they do for all of the other FromSoft games. Motherfucker, stab! You cannot stop this momentum. The exile uh -oh. gods will return. This is a fucking pit bull. So they didn't turn every version of DS2 into Scholar, the first one? Yeah, I, I non-ironically like the original Dark Souls 2 way better than Scholar. VOD of your Lisa streams anywhere? There should be on the VOD channel. Love watching a lot of streamers replay DS1 just to cringe every time they get to a new map and remember they didn't actually love it. See, I do, like, alright. I do actually love Dark Souls 1. I'm, I'm perhaps the opposite of what I was talking about. I think I, I'm probably a little too critical of that game. Just because I think it gets too much slack, but I, I really do like Dark Souls 1 a, a whole fuck of a lot. Um, it's not my favorite FromSoft game, but it's pretty goddamn good. I never finished Dark Souls 2, it was just not fun. Base DS2, I still think it's dog shit. That's fair, but I think Scholar is more dog shit. Okay, so... I think we're almost done here. What's going on, my friend Neon Soul? I think now I just have to get over here. There's nothing wrong with liking a game, but taking issues with people who put it on a ridiculous pedestal. Um, but even then, like, let people like things. I, this is something that I try to do. Because I, I'm an overly negative person by nature. I'm trying not to be such a fucking asshole when it comes to things I don't like. Um, so I try to make the distinction that just because, like, there's games that I don't like doesn't necessarily mean they're bad games, right? Um, there's a lot of games that I can't fucking stand, but clearly people love them. And, you know, I wish I loved them too. I wish I liked every game. I really do. Things would be a lot more- it would be a lot more simpler to find a fun game if you liked more things. Remember someone convinced me to buy this Scholar of the First Sim by saying the DLC is way higher quality than the base game? I mean, I agree with that except for the Ivory King. Um, it's not like DS2 had, like, extremely high quality areas to begin with, right? 
Do you, have you ever been in a Drang Lake castle with all of the corridors that lead to nothing and like empty fucking rooms? That don't even make sense? Or, or like the, the big ass room that just has like a horse chariot that can't fit through any of the fucking doors? Or when you're on the way to Drang Lake castle and you turn around and it's like N64 textures that are completely like the wrong lighting and are super bright compared to everything else? Like that game's got a lot of level design problems. I don't even care about the shit people talk about where you go from Harvest Valley to the to Iron Keep. Um, I don't I couldn't care less about that. But like the actual structure of some of the individual levels is whack as hell. What's going on, Caramelin? What about the bus? Just a bunch of enemies in a room? Yeah. Shiggy diggy dude. Never noticed this and played DS2 several times. That's fine. Not everyone's gonna notice every little flaw of the game. I guess I was in a really bad place at the moment. No, no, it doesn't mean that you're like depressed or in a bad place in your life to not notice faults in Dark Souls 2. Um, like, it's okay. Dark Souls 3 is my least favorite Souls game at this point by a pretty wide margin. The quality of the boss is good, but I just hate everything else about it. See, I like Dark Souls 3 more than 1 and 2, but that's because I had to replay the games on stream for like a fucking year plus. So having good, enjoyable bosses is such a huge deal for me. Um, I agree that the levels in that game are dog shit compared to one, and a lot of the exploration and uh, extra aspects that don't involve the combat and the bosses is subpar. But specifically for a game where I'm expected to replay it like a million fucking times, I like three a lot. Um, I would much rather play three in Bloodborne for a year straight than Dark Souls two and Dark Souls one for a year straight. You know. Levels, exploration, art style, story just make me completely flaccid. Does it, you better be wary of Elden Ring then, because it looks a lot like Dark Souls 3. Uh, maybe not. It, it looks like it's got better areas and stuff, but. I've had my eyes on you, my impetuous child. Only boss that I hated Bloodborne was once. How could you hate Lawrence and not, not fucking throw out the living failures? The water headed idiots who just headbutt you as a primary means of doing battle. Never but she and I were close. Not as the other. Lawrence is fucking she awesome. Is the I was you know every day you and I Breath of Wild was Dark Souls Please. 3 something. A good time to me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Ouch. Fuck. I got owned. These women are smoking. Killed them too fast to hate them. That's fair. Um, I developed a special disdain for both the living failures and Shadows of Yarn. I'm doing them on BL4 New Game Plus 6, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> like, I hated those fights. Um. It's not even necessarily because it was super duper epic hard. It's just that they were fucking, like, tedious nightmares. Living failures, they put me in the game. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, brother, dude. They say the reason you hate living failures is because how many people would say, Oh my god, it's me every time. That shit was annoying, too, admittedly. But I'm not going to base my opinion on the actual quality of the boss fight on what Twitch chat says, right? You know you. Combat in DS3 is hack and slash style. I don't know if I agree with that. It's considerably faster than Souls 1 and 2, but I don't know if it's quite on the level of hack and slash. Nostalgia for DS3 Japanese release week, Dark Sword R1s are just me. That's a very specific and weird thing to have nostalgia about. Um, 
fuck, do I have nostalgia? I remember people were telling me I was a, a hack fraud in Dark Souls 3 by cheesing everything with the most overpowered weapon in the game, which was the Great Axe. <laughs> like, people were legitimately saying that I was trivializing and cheesing the game because I was using the Great Axe and it was too strong of a weapon on my first run of DS3. It was... It was interesting, because I don't think the Great Axe is very good. Um, it seemed good at the time. But I wouldn't I wouldn't put the Great Axe in the top 20 weapons in that game. Because um, there's, there's at least 15 straight swords in that game, so... Is that it? No. It's not. Weapon of choice for speedrunners... What just happened in the game? Any slow weapon is bad by default. Because I remember my my first run of Dark Souls 3 was trying to hit something with the rolling attack. Which was fucking awful. It's got to be one of the worst rolling attacks in the entire game. Exile GS, yeah, Exile GS, Crucible of the Mad King or whatever. The, crucifix, not Crucible. Excuse me. Um... Dragon Slayer Axe. But the regular Great Axe? Great Axe is the weapon of choice for speedrunners. Is it? I've never seen a DS3 speedrun. That's surprising to me. Was that a run through of the game? No, it's a fake ending. We're good in DS1 is because you can just three shot a lot of bosses. Yeah, absolutely. I remember Demon Great Axe. You can get that thing so buffed before Anor Londo. That you can like two shot Ornstein with it. It's awesome. <laughs> like, it's it's one of the most preposterously strong weapons in any of the games. It's slow as shit, but the amount of damage you can output with that thing is fucking gross. Oh. Big DS3 mod that makes game RP. No, I haven't played Dark Souls since like 2017, 2018, thereabouts. It's been a while. The great sword with Leo Ring was obscene too. Fuck do you fight Nameless King? Oh, you just dick him, you know? What? Go to my YouTube and watch my Nameless King videos and maybe it can help. I, I forget what attacks he has. <laughs> uh, past Tolomeo will be an infinitely more valuable resource than current Tolomeo. Aw, oh, shit. What's going on, Holy Jerry? Recently had a guy say I cheese the gargoyles in DS1 because I bought shards in the blacksmith and got a plus five weapon. <laughs> Nameless King was the hardest boss ever. I never found Nameless King hard. I know that's like a haha -ha epic gamer moment, but I think my first run I beat Nameless on the second or third try. He's just so like everything he does is super telegraphed. I think the reason people have so much trouble with Nameless is they don't know how to play Unlocked, so they get fucked up by the stupid dumb fuck bird. <laughs> and so, like, they have so much trouble with the bird that when they actually get to Nameless King, they're panicking because they don't want to fight the bird again because they don't know how to play Unlocked. Um, Because, like, Nameless King himself really is not that bad. But different people have trouble with different things. I, you want to know who my hardest boss was? My first run of Dark Souls 3? Crystal Sage. <laughs> yeah, not me, but... Um, God, I don't even remember. I died to Pontiff once. Um, yeah, I don't really remember. Crystal Sage is obnoxious, but I endure that. I endure the hat. Pontiff was the harder for my hardest for my first play. They spent hours on Abyss Watchers. I had been playing that like Bloodborne and Souls game so much at that point that I, I caught on pretty quickly to all of the losses in that game. I don't think any of them took more than a couple of tries. It's funny because Dark Souls 3 
people say it has it's the easiest game, and maybe that's true, but it's I think for challenge runs it's one of the hardest, especially if you're doing the no normal challenge bullshit. Um by far the hardest bosses in that challenge run. Um so I have a perception of it as being the hardest, despite that not being the case. I think the hardest is probably Bloodborne, in my opinion. I don't think that any... Like, I... I think Lawrence and Orphan are a step above most of the other fights in FromSoft games. You... abandoned me. My own... After all that I did for you, what have you done to show your gratitude? Spent on a bus. Oh, home? right. If you count Sekiro, Sekiro fucked me harder than any Souls game since Demon Souls. <laughs> like... Yeah. Um, I had a lot of trouble on Genichiro of all things. I beat Demon of Hatred and Ishin in less than like 15-20 minutes each, but Genichiro took me over an hour, which- and I also took around an hour on the Monk because I went there stupid fucking early and had like no damage. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I don't regret it at all. And Butterfly fucked me for about an hour or two, so. I think Sekiro is the, uh, there the hardest one for me. Now, Gaben, I hope Gaben's not here. But I attribute that to me not having the greatest reaction times in the world. <laughs> Although, maybe it'll be different now that I have, um, uh, I'm playing on a monitor and not a TV with, like, a fucking three-hour-long response time. Who knows? Neo 2 is the hardest game ever. Oh, I absolutely think both Neos are harder than all of the Souls games. There's no doubt. I want this, the Scaly. Do you believe you'll go to heaven when you die? Of course. Do you enjoy this for your benefit, you know? Of Let course I'm going to heaven. What do you mean? Sort of agency in this world. Struggle right until it clicks and the entire rest of the game is a breeze? Yeah, I don't know. Um, the first half of Sekiro was way, way, way harder than the second half for me. You gift yourself on Sekiro? That's true, I never used Makiri counter because I thought, like... Well, it's not that I thought that. Chat told me I'd be cheesing the game if I used Makiri counter. So, I never got Makiri counter. I've literally never used Makiri counter in Sekiro, uh, to any real extent. All that you killed still remains. Um. You have truly made no some bosses. You literally can't use it. It seems to have a gigantic window, though. You will suffer a bit worse. Neo has more advanced combat system for sure. It does. Neo's Neo's complicated. Neo is hard. Like DS2 Scholar is hard. Nah, I don't think so. There, there are some levels where they, they fuck you with uh, numerous enemies, but the bosses in Neo are genuinely challenging. And and usually not in a stupid way. Especially in Neo 2. Neo 2 is considerably better than the first one. And one of my favorite memories of any Souls game is will be when DSP was fighting the Centipede guy in the first Neo DLC. And he kept getting hit by the same move over and over and goes, SPIN MOVE! <laughs> and it was so fucking funny. Um, <laughs> he was getting so upset, dude. It was the best. Also, this is this is one of the coolest bosses in one of these 2D games. Like, I really like it. It's not really an actual fight, though. It's a gimmick. Another run for it? No. Oh shit, dying. You have to find the positive emotion in the, in the, the gaggle. Also, this dude starts melting uh, the further into the fight you get, so, so keep an eye on that. Bullshit oh, hard enough. Yeah. I still remember the uh, the Honda Tachibana double fight in Neo. Oh my god! I did the the Oda Nobunaga and Yukiona duel fight uh, level one. 
south holding to, I believe. Frustrating. Not my favorite gaming experience of all time, let me put it that way. It wasn't a positive gaming experience. For Neo 2, I someone came in and spoiled a bunch of shit for the game, and then asked if I was going to do challenge runs, and I said, Nah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do challenge runs. I don't need to do that anymore. And he went to another streamer's chat and started saying, Neo 2 is the hardest game ever. The 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 king of Dark Souls 3 is too afraid to do challenge runs, and I was like, Okay, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Like, okay, okay. So there's so many things wrong with this. Um. First of all, no one has ever called me the king of Dark Souls 3 or the king of anything. Um, and, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then everybody, every, it, it was super fucked because then everybody in that chat laughed at the idea of me being good at Dark Souls 3. Um, and it was like, well, um, okay. You're a Jedi at video gaming. I read it in an article once. Hello, Huber. Double whammy. Mm. That's one of those things Pirate Idealist took part in. Remember when I was talking about how he, he gets up to all sorts of whack shit? Um, I don't think he's here anymore, but... Is this game still Pog? I like it. I'm going to be doing Elden Ring challenge runs? Maybe. Um, I've considered it. It depends how much I like the game, basically. See how fucked up he looks now? King of Dark Souls is returning? Fuck off. And thank you, King of Things, for the 35 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I've never said anything like that. I mind my own fucking business. I don't go around saying I'm so good at this, I'm so good at that. I don't... That's not really what I care about. Because if you have to go on about how good you are at something, you're probably not that good. Unless it's MWO exact, that's the one thing. Um... Only challenge runs I know are Tolom for I know Tolomino's for are fear and hunger though. When I visit my mom I always talk about the King of Dark Souls. Ay ay ay. Dalmas is so sick, he is really cool. And name some RPG character like that? No, please don't. Okay, so now I have to beat one more boss and I have to side with the dude we just fought. Um and then we can apparently beat the shit out of Death himself. Kyle Darkstool is a cool name. No, it's literally the furthest thing imaginable from cool. Does fate guide you to blind yourself in my presence? What a weird voice. Past and present, you refuse to see me. It's more pod but than I cool. I M L F R F R. Majin Sweet picking up the Zoomer vernacular is one of my least Everyone favorite developments else who's this year. Into my eyes seems to. Die. The whole world has always felt like it wants me. Kyle Dark Souls sound like someone's edgy D and D rogue. Sounds like a gay porn star, honestly. Me. A scared and lonely child. Chased to ragged no cap FRFR. You mean Rouge Tolo? Oh my god. In the uh. darkest of night, I brought a knife to my throat. What the hell? And then they spoke. The chorus of a million voices. If we ever meet on Neil before my streamer, no, that'd be really weird. Sacrifice grants power. But it's worth it. 
to suffocate every last soul in Vados. I met a viewer like two or three weeks ago at an aquarium festival I went to in my city. Everly away. I wonder if he liked me. But not like this. <laughs> I don't know what people would expect. Um, I'm just some fucking dude, you know? I'm I'm literally just some asshole. Who was it? Quantum Zen. Apparently, he, he talked about how he got arrested or something for threatening someone shortly after, so I guess it wasn't a particularly good meeting. And viewers of yours approached me to evil? No, I don't think you did. Did you punch them? He's a murderer? That'd be cool. Oh, oh man, okay. No, as weird as it is, I've been, I've been like, just singled out, uh, twice in real life. Both times in Los Angeles. And I know for a fact they weren't bullshitting me because they knew, they, they literally, like, I didn't tell anyone where I was going. I didn't say anything about it. And they were like, hey, were you at this restaurant at 12 o'clock wearing a black shirt? And it's like, oh, well, fuck. Okay, yeah, I guess so. And they're like, I was the guy with the DS sitting there. They didn't say that, but it was like, what the fuck? Why didn't you say anything, bro? <laughs> like, you could... And then the next time, apparently it was a chick. That's the weirdest fucking part. Like, a, a, like a woman watching Tolomeo. But... Um, and they were working at the fucking Lego store, and they... they, they... You know, they knew what... The right time, the clothes, everything. Aw, uh, thank you. Potato for two year resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's like, what on God's green earth is going on? LA? Yeah, yeah, LA is just fucked. Um, ow! That's where they call you smooth skin, right? Yeah. Sure do. Oh, shit. I don't remember these little guys being over here. You should have a Lego store GF. I don't have the chance to go and observe. If I open my mouth, you'll know it's me. That's true. up to you and ask if your name is Kyle Dark Souls. Okay, so this has got to stop. No more Kyle Dark Souls. This is a banned term from now on. Even, I knew it was a really bad sign that the city in Xenoblade Chronicles X is named after Los Angeles. I still remember the music for that. Uh, uh, uh. One of the strangest uh, OSTs I've ever heard in a video game. That's for fucking sure. Kyle no roll. Oh no no no. Oh my god, a man in a dream. So weak, woo. This is it. As soon as someone is a viewer, we get randomly approached. No, but I do if they come into my chat and know exactly where I was, um, what I was wearing, and tell me all of that without me giving the information out ahead of time. Um, I, I'd say that's fair. Why did you kill the knights and the frogs? Because they were gonna dick me, dude. What do you mean? 
Okay, so now we have to kill our mama. Mama! Milky! How many times have you died trying to reach me? Is all your pain worth it? Twice. The conviction to do what is necessary. The people of Vargas must learn the truth. You shirtless and basketball shirts? Yeah, I am. But I've already told you that that's what I always wear while I'm streaming. I have no fucking underwear on. I have no shirt on. I've just got gym shorts, baby. I smell like shit. AMA. Gross. It is what it is, brother. But basketball shorts without underwear? Fuck yeah, I do. I'm free balling, dog. How often do you shower? Three times a day. People go commando than Your you think. Mother's life was is underwear really that bad? Yeah. I remember my mom once told my dad that he was time. going to have a heart attack and died, and this instilled such a fear in me that I went on to Google um, to find out like all of the ways you could potentially avoid having a heart attack to improve cardiovascular health. And one of the things was cold showers. So I had a week where I was trying to convince my dad to take cold showers. <laughs> like... Weird times. Embrace the dark. Free yourself from your urban constraints. Do a commando every day for years? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that shit. No, dude, I couldn't do cold showers either. Fuck that. Absolutely not. That's a, dude, the heroic version of that fight is the hardest in the game still, I think. But no, there was never a moment that you weren't in my thoughts. I couldn't live with myself for leaving you behind. Returning to you one day kept me going. Nothing, nothing makes me happier than to see you here now. I'm sorry I failed you, blessed mother. I wish I could have spent more time with you, sorry. <laughs> it's so sad, boo. The same mistakes I did. Milf alert, you really think so? She looks like Gerald of Rivertown. What do you mean, homie? For you in life, but I will always be with you in death, sir. It's quite literally a corpse. All right. Here lies your greatest regret, undone. Your journey here probably feels familiar to you. Buried deep in your subconscious like trauma we forget. This is the, the point, point of no return. return. The Who's point this loser? This is our brother. I it told you I, I had a secret to tell you. Everly 
can still be saved. Jenna is Jenna's like, who's this loser? And I bet now that she sees the adult version, her tune is going to change real fucking quick. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Look at that. Most predictable person in the fucking chat by a mile. She suffers in the afterlife, tormented by death. But I know how to bring her back. Soren, that's what families do. There's just one thing I need you to do. I need you to wake up. You got to this point before? Yeah, this is the point where you get to pick which ending you want, basically. I sided with death before. I'm not going to side with death this time. And then I guess we get to fight death. So, what in the divine hells are you doing here? Was it Zuma? Did you get the come ending? Yeah. I lost contact with you for years. It's gonna be a good story, is? Alright. I'm not much of a story person, personally, but... Is that the best he looks like one of those fucked up Evangelians from the movie in this. His other form where he's like black and white in the background is much better, but he you could very clearly tell what he was inspired by. You've saved me the burden of finding them. So basically the, the crux of this is where death has hired us to end immortality and this motherfucker on the left is perpetuating immortality. That's the TLDR. Um I love this Eldritch guy, I dig him. To say his name, like a whisper that the fuck's wrong with you? Memory. You can't possibly hope to defeat me in my realm. I only came to remind you. Would chat, chat, would you fuck this guy, yes or no? His mouth is like on his on his right tit. We're writing down everyone who says yes, and we're gonna round him up and we're gonna fucking deport him to fat camp. Soon, I hope. <laughs> I remember fighting that. This game got updated and there's a fuck ton of new content. I never played the original. Uh, it's not DLC you though, it's a free update down. to the game as far as I know. You, you made it. Soren means you problem in it. Turkish? Well, I'm the problem child. Thank you, Bivrak, for the tier 2 resub. How are you, dude? I told you I would. Dude, I'm so fucking hungry. I need some Slim Jim you talk. Good care Is of Fat Camp real? Yeah, I'm about to send you there. Need the milk? What's up, dude? Is Fat Camp like gay baby jails federal prison? Yeah. Laughinggirls.jpg. Give me a Slim Jim. Okay, but you gotta, you gotta let me regurgitate it into you like you're a baby bird. When was the last time you felt such Do you still want the Slim Jim? This is what death took from you. This is what you can have. That creature is a parasite, Soren. Whatever he showed you, it's nothing more than an illusion. Yes, an illusion. And the only one preventing it from being a reality is him. Death is fated. Not even you, Soren. Side with Thalamus. I've told you before, death is a matter of principle. Scour the afterlife if that will satisfy your tantrum. But men are remembered for their greatest sacrifices, not their selfish needs. Listen to this preacher on his ivory throne. What would he know about what you sacrifice? Is death a good guy? Yes. It's time to take back what's yours. He, 
you, you know those little blue, like the little purple dinosaur babies that appear in this game. You can you can see a scene where he's cooking with them, like they're, they're it's like he's like cooking mama with the little dinosaur homies. I want to be a cooking mama. Oh shit, we actually have to play through this. You just get teleported out of here if you side with the other guy. Where's a chef hat too? Yeah. Okay. The cooking milk? That's me, dude. Mommy Tolomeo. You know it. I'm here to give milk. Isn't death an immortalizing title to something you can't have out of principle? Because it's the natural order, bro. Don't question it. I think death is hotter. Do you only judge people based on how attractive they are, Jenna? Only men? Fucked up. I've never fought these guys before. They could be treated like me. You, you, you tell them, brother. Is there shadow? I bet you judge things based on their physical appearance. Yeah, no one, no one's ever done that here. This is just like a Jenna thing. Do you think Timothy Chalamet is hot? I don't know what the fuck Timothy Chalamet is. I'll just man me to Jenna. Ugly, but I've had a slight change of heart. What the fuck is this? Is the point from Dune? Oh, I haven't. I haven't seen. It. I don't believe in movies. The last time I watched a movie was approximately 30 years ago. Is that, a, is that a Genshin Impact, or it sounds like a Genshin Impact, or... Reading is cool? No, dude, I'm from Texas. We don't believe in that. Thank you, Moonlight Merchant, for 39 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. What? How the fuck did that be off of Africa? He's kind of a motherfucker. I pulled two copies of him in one tan pool. This fucking Genshin Impact shit's never going to end, is it? Music is so loud. That's okay. I don't have anything worthwhile to say. I am. I'm the most useful guy in the world. That's fucked up that they have that chest there. Those chests only open if you haven't healed at all. What a nightmare. What is this? Meteorite scraps. Okay. I don't... I'm in New Game Plus. I don't even need anything. The volume is fine. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. 
Christ. This waking up at like 8 in the morning shit's gotta stop. Can you change equipment and weapons in this game? Yeah. I just like the sphere. I like thrusting, you know? Hello, Bridgewater. Thank you for the 16 months. How are you, dude? How's that cock? So we're back here again, huh? Wonder what I gotta do to get out of here, man. Sushi's right, just look at Kells. I don't wanna look at Kells, what the fuck? I think I am. Why would I ever wanna look at Kells? This area is so confusing. I don't, it feels like I've been in the same room several other times, but, uh... Clock's about the same from what I can tell. Well, that's good. Okay, we're climbing this fucked up nightmare tower. Who the hell is this? Weird, I don't like him. Kells is a cry chat e celeb. Uh, I don't know about that. Kells is a weirdo who wanted to fuck cry and then when cry spurned her, she wanted to fuck Russ, and when Russ spurned her, she wanted to fuck me. And then when I spurned her, like it just goes on like that forever, right? Shit's Whack, brother. I'm not sure what the fuck I'm doing with this guy. Damn, what an ordeal, jeez. Turning him into a man that I am, I'm chipping away at the fiber of his being. Imagine being an e-boy simp. Captain Romeo on that list, it's always nice to feel wanted. Yeah, and she would go lower and lower and lower. Um, interact with the stone? I don't, I don't care what the stone has to say. It was probably important, huh? Lesai, I understand, but damn, his boobs are so big. Just at me. I'm ready to go. I was hacked? I don't think that's true. I think you're, you're speaking falsehoods in the Tolomeo chat. Who would do something like that? Just go in my Oh no, dude, I'm all the way back. What the fuck? Okay. What the hell? I'm gonna be here for the rest of my mickle life. Life is sad life. I'm just like... Big boobs on a man is like a desirable thing now, huh? Shit, Boogie2988 is gonna be so fucking thrilled. Happy for him, man. Good for him. 
Okay, so I really did just like accidentally reset all my progress, huh? That's a fucking bummer. Oh, well. so now I know what to do. It doesn't look like I have to kill people again, so... That part's good, at least. I'm gonna think for a while, but usually it's muscle titty. Depends on the man. So, muscle titty, huh? I like saying tits instead of pecs. Abs aren't worth it. Dude, I wish I had rock hard abs. That'd be fucking awesome. My desire to objectify men? Yeah, you do that a lot, don't you? You say that you're, you don't like men, but you really do. I would say you like men more than anyone else in this chat. Honestly. Um, based off of what I've seen. You're a premier man lover. Rock hard abs before my appendix surgery? That's a fucking bummer, dude. To get annoyingly low body fat ratio? I love my body fat, so... Probably not in the cards for me. You call me a man lover? I mean, I'm just saying facts, right? They have to not be real, uh huh? Okay. Alright. I started doing ab workouts this week and I have definition of my flex because I'm so fucking thin. So I'm not sure how to get this thing to, to go properly. Do I have to talk to everybody? Thank you, Brandon Tough Emo, for 39 month resub. I appreciate it. I see now the death boss fight never happens. <laughs> you just run in circles till you give up? Yeah. No, I think I know what's going on. Maybe. I swear. And we go to school, right? Eh, fuck. Fuck you and your bone spurs, bitch. Nobody likes you. Is there a thing you can do for like a month? Unless you can do fitness full time or something. I'm gonna be every day to Lomeo full time fitness. It's gonna be my rebrand. Okay, yeah, I have to interact with these. And they all turn green. Today we're gonna have breakfast. The breakfast, a single carrot. Broto, I think Kyle Dark Souls would be a better. No, no Kyle Dark Souls, dude. This is the shittiest fucking meme, dude. I hate this. Kyle Dark Souls, just fucking shoot me, brother. I'm ready to go. Eat an egg and an entire raw animal liver. Oh my goodness. You little scamps. shirt and make Tolo sign it? No, dude. There was this game I played a long time ago called Life of Black Tiger. It was terrible. One of the worst things the world's ever seen. And one of the, I, I, I guess you would call it a feature of the game, was you could play as like a little animal and it had your username next to it. So that someone took a screenshot of like a chicken with Tolomeo as the username. And printed it on a shirt, and that person ended up meeting me in real life. Wearing that fucking shirt. Just fucking kill me, bro. <laughs> like, that was, uh, that was an experience. Killed him in cold blood. I would never kill anyone in cold blood. I only do hot blood killings. You know? Well, I don't know where this last little one thing I gotta get is. Oh, 
it's about time for my nappy. Maybe it was Maz and... Life of Black Tiger was advertised front and center on the official PlayStation channel, so you know it's good. I'm not gonna get Goku at this rate? No, absolutely not. I'm a passion T Dog Goo Exact. We only do passionate crimes here. None of this cold blood mumble fuckery. I just have to find another one of those plaques, right? Maybe this way? Like CWC crimes exactly! I can't really fuck my mom at this point, but, you know. What are you gonna do? Posture check? Dot, dot, dot. What? Talk about CWC crimes. This was... I thought that's what we were talking about. I thought we were talking about motherfucking. And thank you, Truthosaurus, for the 49 months. I appreciate it. Hello, Lululand. What is that turtle emo? Why are you posting cute shit in my chat? What the fuck is wrong with you? A panda too? Christ, I'm gonna have to ban you. Posting pandas in my chat. No cute shit? Wait. What the fuck is that emo? Is that a Pikachu going up another Pikachu's asshole? Well, that's fucking miserable. Pikachu Hanel Vore? Yeah, I guess so. Um, cool. I wish I had an Vore emo. Uh, oh no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This is what I gotta do? Yeah, this is for sure what I- wait, hold on. You know what? It's been a while since I've seen that, um... That stupid fucking dancing Nico arc thing. Why'd you have to bring it back, man? It earlier, Chad. Oh, I must have missed it. I guess I'm just a fucking terrible human being, right? Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. I can't see my UI anymore. I've been up for a little while. Dude, I've been up way too long. I had the worst sleep of my life last night. Daisy woke me up like five times. It was so nice when Autumn's mom was here because she could just watch fucking Daisy at night. She liked having Daisy as company and I didn't have to deal with her. It was so sick. First playthrough? Nah, no, this is New Game Plus. I haven't fought this guy before though. Oh, fuck! Well, I did good. What the fuck? They- the dudes- Either Death or Thalamus will shit-talk you if you die in this game. It's fucked up. I- I was just pretending, don't worry. 
Told you I was ten dog. Oh no. That would be fucked up if you had to do that gauntlet every time you attempted the boss. <laughs> I would be so pissed. Fuck. Okay, thank Christ for that. You can finally see the new boss. Just whoop your ass if he catches you? I guess so. That would make sense to me. Not leaving without my mama's soul. You truly still believe the lies Thalamus tells you. Or is it the Observer guiding you to do this out of some sick sense of curiosity? I'm the Observer. <sighs> Regardless, if you are so far gone to distinguish reality from fiction, then you are truly lost. It's only fitting that we fight here, the Nexus of Soul. I will reap your soul. Oh man, it sounds like he's about to pop my fucking cherry. Okay, this music's pretty sick. Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright! Wow! That was good. I almost got him. Okay. First try, easy baby. He can shatter my womb anytime. No, we need to stop this. This is this has gone too far. I expected more from you mortals. I had given you the hell you all fear. But it's a cool looking attack. What the hell is this? Oh, we're doing this again already? What the fuck happened? Okay. That was cool. I thought every time he had done that little flying dive, he had teleported on top of me. Okay, so I guess when he's at around half health and his little bar is, is filled and flashing, I should probably, um... Not do that, huh? Tummy tadpoles actually do damage. He's 
wasted on my energy. I'm fucking him up this time. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. I can hit him, but my aerial game is a spear user is not exactly uh, amazing. I wonder if this is gonna be a thing, like I have to uh The fuck is this? Ah, I, I tried parrying. Oh, I got it. Okay. I need to be really careful after he sucks my purple shit. He just, he really likes those one shots, dude. I don't really understand the conditions in which he uses them. The first time he did it like half health, that time he waited. Um, I think he was always full of anima. I fucked it up. Damn it. I was hoping he would try to suck my anima and I'd avoid it. Doing this shit already? Okay. Attack should be a one-shot logically, yes, but most of them aren't one-shots, so that's where the confusion sets in. Okay, so now he could he could hypothetically one-shot me, right? Damn it! Okay, so that's a that's a combo. Shit. You see how fucked up this game is? He called me an idiot. What an asshole. I can't deny it, but shit, dude, you don't have to say it like that. Okay, I like this. Keep doing this. Thank you, Morton Joe, for the 23 months. I appreciate how you do. This is probably the closest you're going to get to Bloodstain being finished. I really need to try damaging him more here. I hate these stupid ass little birds. I 
guess healing doesn't really matter much because uh, if I get hit by, by Big Boy himself, then... Um, I'm gonna parry him and it's gonna be so sick. Okay, I got him. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay, cool, cool. Ouch. Bloodstain is what my shirt was earlier after I got a bloody nose. Dude, I haven't had a bloody nose, I think, ever. I can't, I literally can't recall a time where that's been a thing for me. With the crow gone, the souls are free from their prison. You'll finally be we're in a threesome with these two now forever. The family you always wanted, just as it was meant to be. Go on. Everly is just beyond the Nexus. Oh no, this is gonna go terribly wrong, isn't it? Where's the fucking Nexus? What? I guess that's the that's the joke, right? Oh no, he okay, he has a heroic version. Uh-oh. Oh fuck this dude. Dude, look at the damage I'm doing! <laughs> oh no, dude! Uh-oh. Shit. Okay. This is gonna take a while. Can I can I like upgrade my weapon or some shit? Weapon wind dog, I'm still waiting for dude go, the Goku time has come and gone. Wait a fucking minute. Okay. Maybe I should level up. Oh, I could, dude, I could go full fucking strength, baby. Shit. What do you mean I, I, fuck you. 20 minutes of Goku time here? No, nah, that shit's gone, dude. I wonder if I could set my, my time, my clock to be, uh, you know. Max, did it? No, I didn't. Oh fuck. Oh, holy shit, dude. Man. All right, all right. I think you didn't level up. No, I didn't. I did. I sure fucking didn't, dude. I guess I will. I like when he laughs. Fuck you, Jenna. I'll just level up damage. Wow, you really want to watch me even fucking die to this dude for 10 hours? Come on. You're all waiting to be dismissed, I thought. I could also... Hmm, I could get rid of some of my Healy items, too. No. There's, like, no heal time. Okay. Ah. Oh. This is my realm. Wow, since you say fuck you to Jenna, this is a heroic version? Yes. Yeah, Thalamus is a heroic, right? Yeah, I beat Thalamus hero. He doesn't seem like he's anywhere near as hard as this, but I also didn't fight Thalamus in uh, New Game Plus. 
Heroic plus New Game Plus on this guy seems like, uh... He's got quite the assortment of stats. I should know better than to do that. This guy's pretty fucking relentless, huh? Done like no damage to him. Okay, I need to remember, he always has that stupid ass clone now. It is very difficult to get in. Oh, he went super far that time. This guy's fucked up. Okay. God damn, I need to figure out my damage windows because I'm not doing anything to him right now. Level of vitality? Nah, that's for bitches. Who the fuck levels vitality in these games? I'm already cheesing it enough by leveling damage. All parry victory? You know, parrying might not be bad. But I, I wonder how it works with the shadow. Like, if I parry the first one, am I fucked? What's going on, Lena Ray? I'll have to try it. This is my realm. Check out the Elden Ring Battle Pass? No. So parrying does work, but you can't really get anything out of it. You have to parry both him and the shadow. Um, what a fucking nightmare. Okay, this is going to take a while. I haven't even gotten him to like 80% yet. This is my realm. Basically, the only real opening is when he does this, huh? It's a penalty for dying in this game. You lose a healing item, but you can just go and pick it back up. Okay, I am going to need to augment my damage for this, for sure. I still don't know what that one dude in chat meant when he said this dude looking like the battle pass. I... It's best not to dwell on the comments of Twitch chat too much. That would be my advice. It's not good for your mind. I need to recover some of my plumes. I'm, I'm actually low on them. Get another Diet Coke, you win. Well, my head is killing me, but I don't think that's the problem right now. Oh my god, that bitch. Dude! Ah, okay, so I kind of have to hope that the little balls don't spawn directly behind me, too. Cause I can't, I can't play Koi during that. I have to completely go for the the damage. Still dwelling on ketchup packet GF. That's entirely fair. I don't blame you at all for that. The ketchup packet girlfriend thing was one of the gnarliest uh, comments I think I've read on the internet. Because like a lot of times you see people just saying shit for the sake of shock value, or whatever the fuck. But you can tell that dude was honest about his ketchup packet GF. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't a bit, I guess. Oh, wow. Dude, whoa, holy fuck.
Holy shit. Thank you, free brownies for 60 months. Appreciate it. So there's a very brief window there. After the triple spin bullshit. This is... This guy's got a lot of fucking health, huh? Hope he gets better damage windows. Oh, these guys have a ton of health now. Oh, oh, oh god. And there's that too. Oh fuck! And now he's summoning Valkyries? Oh Christ. That's not at all what I wanted to do. I wanted to get a fucking spear charge. Oh man. These guys have a fair bit of health. Oh, and you only have a certain amount of time to actually kill them before he steals all of your juice and you're just. Wow. Okay, Jesus Christ. This, this is, is a fucked up man. fight. Um, wow, I think I might just fuck off and get some Whataburger. Fuck <laughs> this, dude. I was with it until the ad phase. But the killing all of those ads with over a fight this long is going to take uh, a while. You can do it. I know I can. The question is, do I want to? What's going on, crap time? This is my realm. Please, Janet, dog. Come on. Yep, more to the ending if you beat him. No, you never do with the hero stuff, it's just for funsies. Starting to get good at dodging this shit, but... I need to figure out if there's a way that I can... Oh, I can get more damage. Oh, those RNG balls really suck. Okay. Jenna's a real one. I don't... I don't know if I agree with that assessment of the situation. Thankfully, they seem to have a tendency to just 
jump on top of my head over and over again. The thing that I'm worried about now are the anima attacks you get that one-shot me. Oh, he does that four times now. Okay. Okay, what's going on, Met Mang? Sacrilege. End up getting SMT5, yes, but I haven't played it. Christ. Okay. I... I'm not sure what the fuck to do in this situation. That's a, um... <laughs> that's a lot of shit to contend with. Hold on, can I upgrade some of my stuff? I haven't upgraded my gear in a long-ass time. I don't think I can upgrade my spear anymore. But I might be able to upgrade some of the other shit. After ad phase, just requires perfect play. I guess so. Um, but he gives you a lot more damage openings, at least. So it's not all bad. Um... I might want to get rid of just, like all but a couple of my heals, but I'm going to get hit by little things like those balls and the ads, so I'm, I'm not sure how smart it is. Valkyries, at least, unless I got really lucky last time, which is a possibility, seem a lot easier than I thought they were going to be. I just have to be ready for them and burst them down. Really Christian traditional family? Oh, you're in the right stream then, brother. This is, this is the perfect place for, uh... Oh, that was really good. That was really good. I I think if I parry that one, I didn't see the little shadow man that time, so. Not particularly graceful. Wait, why can't I? Oh, right. You just suck all of my shit out. How foolish of me. Two in that phase, dude. This is gonna take forever. I'm slowly whittling away at it, but good god. Okay, so I need to try that thing where I parried him after, uh, like the super lunge forward on the ground. Doing it in the air and doing the spin doesn't work, but I, I got a good result off of the, um, the other one. I need to get rid of some of my plumes, too, so I can get some more damage, because I am going to get one shot after he's, uh, low, so... Oh! Wait, 
talking about nail painting? What on God's green earth? The Tolomeo Nail Painting Club. I've never had any sort of desire to paint my nails ever. I don't know if that makes me weird. I don't know if that's like a common thing. Uh, small amount of damage on him if I roll with him, but that means my uh, my openings are going to be, like, I'm going to have to not fuck up the dodge timing at all. It's going to be harder to actually dodge him if I'm rolling with him as opposed to against him. So that flying maneuver I just learned does not work at all on that second phase, because he immediately doubles back and fucks me in the mouth. Alright. Alright. Here, I need to get some more damage. <laughs> because I think maybe four heals for the, the entirety of this fight would be fine. Um, if I sacrifice a heal, I get 5% damage per... So if I uh, if I sacrifice six, it's thirty percent more damage. Thank you, Red Melody, for thirty three months. I appreciate it. What's up, man? Oh man, sixteen deaths. I'm doing great. This is my realm. <laughs> I can, I can just swing it if I have the stamina. That's... That went a little bit better. I think. Oh, fuck. I was not expecting him to be able to hit me there. God damn it. God, dude, that was unfortunate, RNG. Holy shit. Could have gone a little bit better. Oh, wow. I did really, really badly on the ad phase. What's going on, little bub? Still gaming? I was gone for a bit. I take it there was no Goku. No, the heroic on this guy is very, very difficult. 
Um, I haven't even gotten this dude to half health yet, so... This is my realm. And it doesn't really look like I'm gonna be doing that anytime soon. I'm figuring out little damage windows, though, so... Yeah, that, that, that's going okay. That's going okay. We're doing a lot more damage than I've, I've got more openings. Oh wow, those still damage you after. I think they're already on top. That's fucked up. Ah. Uh, That went really well. Let's fuck it up. That attack is going to be the hard one. I was waiting for that. He had that in the non-heroic version of the fight. The very, very quick, low wind-up slash. That is going to kill me 90% of the time once I start getting the handle on everything else. Because that shit comes out so fucking quick that it's going to be really hard to consistently uh, avoid that. I need to figure something out to deal with that. Because right now, I don't have an answer for it. Only you start sipping your shit more, he will. Why does it show Thalamus after you die? Because I sided with Thalamus over death. Normally it's death, but... Oh wow, what the fuck? That was wild. I should probably not punish this too much. I'll get- oh god. I'll get into bad habits. Like, it's not punishable in the face of the fight that actually matters. Oh wow, okay. I guess it technically is the second part of the fight, so we can do that now. Alright. I hate that. I hate the lingering hitbox and the stupid purple orbs. Damn it. Might be so much better without the ads. Yeah, I agree, but, you know, you kind of have to deal with that. Thankfully, I think he only summons the ads once. I hope, because if he summons them over and over again, then this is going to really suck. Um, I'm not a big fan of fighting like a horde of little enemies compared to one big guy. Me and everybody else on the fucking planet, right? But 
now that I know I can I can damage him during this worldly gig, oh shit, it's gotten a lot a lot faster to get to the ad phase. Alright, I'll probably give it a couple more attempts, then I'll fuck off and use the SP. Um I just wanted to see what the fight was like. I'm just gonna play these games because I beat them first try, yeah, that's the struggle, right? Oh god. Yeah, yeah, the Valkyries are super RNG. Um, if they, if they start doing things in a specific way, you're just fucked. Like, if one blocks you and you stagger, you're guaranteed to eat at least one hit. But you can't sit there and wait for them to have a good assortment of attacks, because you have to kill them before this dude starts getting a new shit again, right? So, it feels like a shit shoot. Like you either completely fuck them when you get on. Holy shit. I love spamming this one today. Okay. Yeah, this will probably be my last attempt, I guess. And then I'll do it off screen. This isn't exactly thrilling to watch, so I apologize for trying. Um. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Alright. I'll get out of your hair. Take it easy, dudes. Have a good day, night, whatever the fuck it is. Or later.